when I'm really in the mood for a big corn dog, a poo-poo platter, two ding-dongs, it doesn't matter. Add some tuna helper, I'll be racing back for more. But don't add any salsa, cause I'll blow chunks on the floor. Wait! <laughs> I need you back. <laughs> Welcome Test. back to Stealing Your Dad's If It Was Easy. Today we're... It, wait a second. This isn't the greatest podcast ever recorded that can be found on munchyshatsky.com, videogame.com slash channel. Go to the <laughs> description and look at that. This is some weird dystopian alternate reality where the cool nuclear holocaust never happened and the vintage hipster <laughs> modernist super teenage nihilist world didn't get completely and utterly obliterated by the thousands of sick as stage three neurosyphilis co- radical galactic <laughs> eternity molotovs which changed the chemical makeup of the planet into the individual <laughs> atom level forever thrusting the world into an infinite aesthetic of cyberpunk Post cyberpunk, biopunk, <laughs> nanopunk, steampunk, diesel punk, oh stone punk, clown punk, elf punk, myth punk, <laughs> dream punk, atom punk, weasel punk, trash punk, dad punk, seizure punk, <laughs> fancy Santa punk, and most of all, cluster punk. All at the same time, even the ones that contradict each other, especially the ones that contradict each other. That never happened, this cock suckingly terrifying timeline. Everything's just like normal and not completely obliterated physically, mentally, and spiritually. They haven't figured out how to fully utilize uh, uh, ironies fully an unbelievably destructive force and use it against one another. Holy fuck, did you? I'm, I'm freaking the fuck out. That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. I know, man. Yeah. I thought that we were always going to be in the future and now we're not in the future, but in the other future, the mm-hmm. not good future. Is we have to go back. Also known as the present. <laughs> We oh my god, god. It's, people. it's other people. We have to go all back right, to well, the present. Know, fuck, fuck it, whatever. I, we're just here now. All right, all I right, forgot yeah, about go. other people. Well, uh, good work, guys. Uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> welcome back to the PCP. Welcome back to, the, dy- welcome back to the dystopian yeah. multipunk podcast, the Peace of the Procrastinators multi-punk. podcast. <laughs> yeah, multipunk. That's how I yeah, condense m- all that bullshit. Multicultural punk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> multicultural punk. Uh, I, I, I'm the best guy ever. Uh, ben Saints here. Yep. Uh, did you bro? Hey, I'm here from the other future. <laughs> Hypocrite. This, this all- I have, bro, I have just sure. eaten many chicken nuggets, so this is appropriate. Whoa. Perfect. Uh, Munchie. Uh, 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 alternate universe Munchie. I'm from a different universe. Uh, you can write. You can, you can write slash fiction that's of Marvel Munchie mm-hmm. and alternate universe Munchie now. That's they're, that's they're juicy stuff. Characters. Alternate and, uh, alternate endless... universe Munchie just has like an eye patch and like wears a wears like. In, in, instead of like instead of the light the and the, and good munchie of this universe that dresses like a hamburger the e- right. the evil one dresses like a like a he has an eye patch and he dresses like a I don't know like a like a like a dark chocolate cake that's fucking wrong yeah it's uh, fucked up. look at the thumbnail. all right hey shut up everybody because endless <laughs> chess is here like. uh yep I sure am okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> that, that settles it. <laughs> So our, our topic today is food. Wait, did we introduce We're talking about food? I don't remember. I, I, yeah, we I did. Said we did. Chicken nuggets. Okay, that's right. LOL. Uh, so uh, 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 Urban Dictionary food. Uh, here no. we go. A <laughs> yes. substance that here we go. A substance that you eat, then poop out, usually followed by a nap. That's a good one. I like Wait. it. Who naps after after pooping? Uh, I, I, I I nap directly on my poop. You know, it's out and then yeah. you fall in a heap. You, you, you like done. roll it out as like a bed and you lay in it. <laughs> I'd like to be asleep during pooping. Uh, so God, what the fuck are we even talking about? Yeah, I like food. It's it's good. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 of course. Yeah. Well, what I think yeah. we're gonna talk about I'm, is I think is, you're is all I think you're all gonna take the things. opposite stance on yeah. this one. You might <laughs> yeah. be surprised. Yeah, I think you're I think you're all gonna be surprised by my nuanced take of uh, yeah, of I, what I, I think I, about I, I food. I fully expected coming into this that Jesse was going to be the opposition to the idea that food is good. Yeah. The you know, guys, I've said it before, but this might be the most Jesse is right episode of this entire show. <laughs> <laughs> we I, can, I mean, could... Food, food, food in real life is the is the curse of is the dark sign of real life. That's what addiction <laughs> to food is. Mm. That's what it is in real life. It's, it's, it damns us all. It damns us all from addiction. birth to the grave. There is no escape. Mm-hmm. We just keep coming yeah. back. I mean, yeah, we, like we, the poor we, saps we have we are. to have energy, uh, but you know we've we've come mm-hmm. up with with plenty of ways to make the energy that we intake interesting enough and different enough to be like you know kind of fun, kind of kind of you know you're making a best of a bad situation. We don't. We yeah. have stomachs. We need to feed them. We may as well yeah. have good food. 
And Running your body yeah. is secondary to being cool. And, and okay, okay, eating with my <laughs> bros is more fun than eating alone. Because when you're eating with your bros, you have that intimate experience of, like, yeah, we, we, are, we are consuming. We are vulnerable. Each other. We, 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 could, we could be sexually assaulted at any time. But you know what? We're just going to rock that. We're just going to rock it. <laughs> does, does, be, does being in a group increase or decrease the chances of being sexually assaulted? Increase. I it would, depends on the group and if they're eating or not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it makes it all the true. more succulent. Yeah, mm. all the more succulent. Well, let me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I will also probably have a slightly different stance than some people here I think, because I see. I think I know uh, what you're okay, going to yeah, say. Yeah. I think I think you're of course you're going to come sure down on the food is fuel side of it. That's exactly what I'm going to say. Mm-hmm. Food is food. Is, you know, we we are slaves to our biological impulses that, by the way, are 100 percent outdated. The lust we all have for salt is because way back at a fucking billion years ago, when you could find like one grain of salt in a fucking uh, an entire lifetime, that's when like our our, <laughs> our, our desire. That's all not right. even a lie. That's true. All right. That Nate, shit was programmed well, into us before, before, this goes, before this goes any further, yeah. I just want to say, mm-hmm. uh, I want to s- fast forward and say, we, 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 okay, uh, Nate, you're right, but I don't care. And also, hashtag <laughs> weird utilitarianism. <laughs> hashtag <laughs> weird utilitarianism. I, 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 I kind of want this Hippo podcast just, to be. What? You just predicted, like, the end of every podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. But I, I kind of wanted this podcast to be we each say uh, a food. And then mm-hmm. the others say, "Oh my god, I can't believe you like that!" And, and that, that that will be the whole thing. We could just can, like, I, can I start with one? Favorites. Can I start with one? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Big dick, big floppy. You know it, dog. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, mean, I can't you believe you like that. Mm-hmm. I can't I believe can't like, you don't, don't like, that. like that. Well, I can't we, we've all learned a lot dick. here today. <laughs> all right, here, here's the thing. Here, here's uh-huh. here's what I've got to say. Uh, pepperoni sucks. What? No. Oh my you piece of I, no, I agree. Get He's this, right. This the thing hippo, right. hippo, this get the fuck out of here, here, you. Get the fuck out of here, you hot piece of ass. You <laughs> He's sexy right. little He's baby. He's 100% right. <laughs> this this thin crust garbage. denier just wants to ruin everyone's time and just fucking all right, stick it, their wax in anyone the else's The thing about ears. pepperoni is that I like all that sort of like Italian sausage stuff, like the, the parma mm. ham and the, and you know, the pepperoni. Oh, and, the pres- no. and the prosciutto. The you pepperoni. Like, you like the prosciutto. Yes, like the I like I like all that Everyone sort of stuff, that. but it's nice as like a cold meat to have with with uh, like uh, cheese or I olives. I got some or cold something. meat for you, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it Shut cold? Up. Have you been I fucking know, in the fridge? I, I got fucking jaundice. My extremities are dying. <laughs> yep, yep. That's what oh, I'm diabetes. Is another person who but, has but, my but pepperoni, <laughs> as as I have uh, uh, researched, is an American invention, which is sort of like. Taking mm-hmm. what it's from and then inventing it and making it uh, gross and greasy well, that's and just salty American for you right and, there. and disgusting. Well, and they put it on every American pizza. Cuisine. The reason I don't like pepperoni is because it's, it's so ubiquitous. Pepperoni. If it wasn't so ubiquitous, I'd be like, eh. So he's a hipster, is it? He's yes, a I am. He's a hipster well, crit. That's the funny thing about it. And uh, I don't know if you've made it this far in Biggest Problem of the Universe, Hippo, but Maddox had a whole long argument about why pepperoni was bad. Essentially raising that point that you should eat the the better versions like salami and fucking all that well, shit. Well, no. Uh, I, I, I think it's okay on pizza. I just don't like that everybody likes it, and that's like the default pizza when it's not my favorite oh. topping. It I, is odd. I do I do I'm, wonder how it came to be that pizza now, that, that pizza's two default flavors are now yeah. nothing or this one specific sausage. Well, I gotta say that while that is, while I appreciate how weird that is, it for me is one of the few victories I have in life because <laughs> I that you, know, you have that you did this this was your no, doing no 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 just a spiritual victory uh, okay. you know because I love pepperoni pizza and so the fact that I can go to any place and guaranteed they will have my shit like like if 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 someone says oh we're throwing a pizza party I can show up with some confidence knowing they will have the pizza I like because everyone has the pizza I like which is not true of any other food there's but nothing pepperoni... I can just show up and be guaranteed they're gonna have it you know that's true but across the board pepperoni is like this thin disgusting greasy little slab of meat that's yeah. not even very flavorful it's, I got a thin uh, disgusting like greasy little like slab of meat yeah, for you <laughs> You know, I always think that pepperoni is not that flavorful until I eat a pizza without it, and then I just mm-hmm. miss it. It like, is very I flavorful. It's, it. just, well, it's sure. just a specific flavor that I don't like. Here, and I don't so. think salami, putting like better quality meat on it, would solve the problem. I think just right. 
you know, well, maybe a different, maybe like a, a jalapenos and chicken or something, something right. different. There's, yeah, there's no yeah, other like meat that I really chicken. like on pizza, but uh, vegetables can. Yeah, you can eat a pizza with just jalapenos, and it's it's all right. But a lot of people can't handle the jalapenos. So I'm not that yeah, in, I'm not gay. that into jalapenos personally. Hey, here's a, here's a qu- quandary for you. I have here something I'm very excited about. I have a can of Diet Code Red Mountain Dew, and I want you guys to weigh in on whether this is food or not. All no. Mountain Dew should Death be fucking trained. abolished, and drinking it should be punishable by firing squad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's right. Di- what are you? What diet? Diet shit? No, no. all Mountain Dew. Period. Oh, all Mountain Dew. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm ready. All... I'm ready. I was ready. I was ready for someone to jump on me for diet because I'm a big proponent of diet beverages. They're like my favorite shit in the whole world. You know, if Mountain if you're Dew is drink just soda. like radioactive yak slime put in a can. That's the it's same like, as any other like bullshit. all no like all pop is poison, but Mountain Dew tastes like the poison that it is. Um, I don't disagree, and I drink a lot of it. <laughs> it's I just this it up, fucking dog. sugary ogre sweat. It doesn't belong in anyone's body. It doesn't belong in anyone's mouth. It belongs. Guys, no. l- let me let me in a let me come down on soda. Pipe. I consider myself an expert on the on the soda issue because I have gone roughly. Three years now drinking next to no soda, just like the occasional soda when it happens to be around. I spent an entire year, I went for a row, it was a dedicated effort to drink no soda at all. And let me just tell you, when I came back and drank a soda after that, it was like, it was so powerful. It was so like my body was just like, what are you doing? No! You, you guys, if you're, if you're drinking soda and this tastes like good to you, I'm just letting you know that you are you have done damage to your body. You are fucking it up right now that's, with all um, this shit. That's, that's I not gone supposed to be 23 years that's, uh... without drinking soda. I've never, <laughs> really? I hate really? it. It's, it's never been nice to okay, me because right. of, of that carbonated right. burp good. afterwards. I... You know, Nate, that's actually a plot point in the Dark Tower because Roland is not from our <laughs> world. He he gets his like his finger bitten off by a giant lobster, and like he goes to our mm-hmm. world and he gets like some aspirin and Pepsi to like wash it down, and he's never had Pepsi oh, before, no. and he drinks it, and he like becomes a superhuman because he's never had Pepsi before. <laughs> <laughs> it like blows what? his whole perception of of the universe, opens his this, mind, this, it increases this, his Christ that's consciousness. Cool. That story reminds me of have you have you guys all seen David Lynch cooks quinoa? I am no. no, but you've told me about it. It's Okay, well, it's like, it's this, like, dark, like, black and white, just, it's just, they're just filming David Lynch in his kitchen, just, like, cooking quinoa, and he's kind of shit at it, but whatever. He, like, cooks this quinoa, and talks about what he's doing, and then he goes out and sits on his porch and has a cigarette, and tells this bizarre story about, like, a train ride uh, through, like, fucking Eastern Europe or whatever, and part of the, part of the story involves, like, taking this girl from Yugoslavia to, like, Paris and, like, buying her the first Coca-Cola she's ever had. And meanwhile, he, like, yeah, he, like, I don't know, he just peppers the story with weird, like, they get off the train and and moths, like, moth larvae are crawling up out of the ground and leaping up into the air like frogs. And these frog (laughs) moths are just flying around. And I gave, and I gave the cashier, and I gave the cashier this tiny, the tiniest little, little coin. And he gave me a big piece of paper money in return for change and then I go to the next place and I paid with the paper money and then he just pours handfuls and handfuls of coins into my hands so many I have to use both hands to catch them and my they're just about to overflow and there's so many coins until the moment I look up at him and then he stops <laughs> and with that you know, beautiful I, I did I did make a giant batch of quinoa once and it was pretty good yeah that's my relationship to that yeah Anyway, I just wanted to plug. Uh, I just wanted to plug. Uh, David Lynch cooks quinoa. It's really great. Yeah. Well, let, let me just well, say about that. Uh, what's What's cool about that is I like that he gave someone their first Coca Cola because there is nothing wrong with occasionally uh, getting down and dirty and drinking some absolute garbage like like down soda. Down and dirty. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that, that, that's, what, that's that real should... edgy shit. That's real edgy shit for me. Well, I'll and t- um, I'll tell you but, guys. Uh, but I'm just saying. But you can't do it all the time, or you're not going to appreciate. I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I drank nothing but Mountain Dew for about 13 years. Yep. Um, yep. for my entire, <clears throat> uh, like, I don't know, nine to 21 or something. And, uh, and like, yeah, it's addictive and it's bad and it makes you feel like shit and it's also doesn't taste good. Um, and then I got off of that and onto green diet, green tea. And then at some point I started working soda back in. Cause I just, what, what's great about soda to me is that it is like acid, like, you drink it and it just yep, melts yeah. away everything, you know? 
Like you know what else does that? Brushing your fucking teeth. No, no, no. I'm talking about like when you're eating food. Like it, it's a it's a palate oh, okay. cleanser. You know, like you go out, you mm-hmm. go out no. to lunch, and you if, eat like, some if you stuff. consider like acid washing your fucking mouth palate cleansing, like I guess. Yeah, like it, you you take right. a drink of Sprite, <laughs> and then it just completely clears out all the flavors and yeah. stuff that were in your mouth, and I, makes you I feel agree. refreshed. I again. agree. Yeah, you take a gulp of soda, and it just like it sears away all the other all the yeah. other flavors. That's the whole and, point uh, of it for me. Weird. Yeah. I don't that's know. What, that's what like water like is for, though. I'm water you, for you take a sip of water and then you still taste whatever you were just eating. Exactly. Then you down a gallon then of that maybe shit. Maybe you should eat some good stuff if that you, is if you nice drink, to taste for the whole day. If you well, drink like a juice or something, it just kind of like mixes with the flavor of whatever you're eating, and it's just not quite right. Like that's true. like the like tea, especially hot tea, will have this what effect of like it'll you know it'll burn yeah. away everything that's in there. Yeah, but, hot tea. But soda will just. You take one sip and it just it feels like you swallowed a bunch of acid that just burns surely, away everything that's in you. Surely you could get that same feeling from like orange juice because that's quite citric. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, I'm, juice, I'm a big orange juice and soda guy. I just think the orange juice, juice taste really mixes with the stuff thick. that's in your mouth in an unpleasant Yeah, orange juice way. is really kind of, of kind of I... lumpy. <laughs> lumpy. Well, it, it, I mean, if you pulp. mean pulp? Uh, did you guys? Are you guys I told aware you to that get you can't the kind with buy? the pulp? Yo, let me just say, one of my, I'm, I'm the biggest orange juice fan of the world. It is by far my favorite thing. I'd sacrifice everything else in my life. But the thing is, you cannot get orange juice anymore that has lots of pulp. When I was a child, lots of pulp was a thing you could buy. Now the most you can get is some pulp. No, that's because it nobody likes every the fucking bits. Day. I, I love every no, bit. I love the bits. Yeah, I love lots of pulp. Nate, I know, I know that they still have lots of pulp orange juice. I've seen it. Not in my fucking city, dude. I've been to every grocery store. I, I don't there's know. There's an maybe embargo just this. on your city. <laughs> yeah. It's possible. Maybe they just hate fucking Cincinnati. There's a, there's I don't a pulp, know. There's a pulp uh, quota that has to be met. I bet if I went to Florida, I'd get some fucking pulp in my arms. Here's, here's, <laughs> I can't here's believe you like diet. that. <laughs> here's my beverage diet. For every one liter of soda I will drink, I will drink two uh, like like boxes of orange juice. And then for every two boxes of orange juice that I'll drink, I'll drink four. Um, I'll drink four whatever they're called of water. You know, I, I'm glad you said that because I was going to say the thing about juice that a lot of people don't just like I, they probably know, but they just don't think about much is that juice is incredibly calorie dense, and you can get super fat just drinking juice. Yeah. That's why orange juice is like like now that I, I'm off soda completely, drinking an orange juice has been elevated to like a godlike experience. It's just the most delicious, satisfying. It's like if that's my De- cake, like decadent. orange juice is like eating a fucking piece of cake. Decadent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it is fucking. Decadent. It didn't know it I is. Love ca- it. I, it, I, I know what you mean because it's just like it's like candy. It's like it's like fucking exactly. sugar syrup is like what a what yep. a juice. Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. and I mean I, like yeah, I, I don't candy. actually drink that much juice. You know what? I you hear maybe maybe this is fucked up. Like me me being fucking health conscious is me going no no I won't I won't drink that that glass of orange of fresh squeezed orange juice. I'll have this diet Mountain Dew Code Red instead. <laughs> well, <laughs> the calories make sense there. <laughs> yeah, in certain certain eh, looked at from a certain angle, it's so reasonable. There's, there's a couple of very important questions that I think have to be answered by this podcast, or else we will have failed yeah. this miserably. The first okay, important question is, what are you eating right now? <sighs> I'm I'm eating. I actually went to the grocery store right before we started, and I have a big old bag of pistachios. I didn't and these are rather me. indulgent. Mm, oh man, I fucking but I love fucking pistachios. love of pistachios. They're they're. I mean, they're kind of salty, but they are delicious. They got excellent uh, unsaturated fats. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's the good I, stuff, man. These are good I stuff. have not had I pistachios always, in a while. I'm all about cashews when it comes to nuts because they're smooth yeah. and. They well, okay. Do, the thing is, I do. Nuts. I do have a bag of cocoa of like cocoa powder, like coated almonds in my pantry right now. Those are delicious. I don't like so almonds delicious. at all. I don't like that. Oh, I fucking. Well, I, whoa, whoa, whoa. do you my, have toasted when I, almonds? When I bite into an almond, yeah, all it does almonds, is just Un- go into every tooth in my mouth. Like it just immediately almonds, gets stuck yeah. everywhere. Untoasted almonds are shit. Toasted almonds are the shit. One time for Christmas, <laughs> my mom got me a bag of almonds, and I was like, "These are pretty good, but they're not toasted." So I toasted them myself, and I learned how to toast nuts, and it was the best day of I'm, my I've young got some life. Toasted nuts for you, my <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, that's I'm, what Nate's eating. Is anybody? Uh, I'm, yep. I'm 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 eating the leftover chocolate syrup and this double shot of espresso that I poured myself <laughs> to do the intro, and uh, now I'm just wallowing away. Are you are you sort of sticking your tongue down the down the glass, trying to lick it out? Yeah, I'm doing it. sick. Well, sick. Uh, what I I'm not eating because I've just eaten, but I am drinking cis white male tears. 
of, of my own brand. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking into to, to, to freezing them into ice cubes to sell as like a food product. That's good. That's good. Oh my god. Cis white males of the world. Uh, you're sitting on a gold mine. Yeah. Uh, just for... <laughs> Oh man! You just one more advantage cis white males have over the rest of us. They can sell their tears. Everyone's get, gets rich. It's a gold rush. Is anybody else eating or got like a go? beehive out back after. full of cis white males constantly producing tears? <laughs> uh, Jess, are you eating anything? Um, I'm drinking tea, sans chicken today. Okay. Because I feel it. Like I'm, I'm never eating again. <laughs> No! No, bring him back! We haven't spoken of him in months. Release he was almost me gone. From my chains. <laughs> no! Get Let back. me rule once again. <laughs> the dark emperor of the PCP is just trapped in the corner, occasionally being like, let me the fuck back in, guys. Don't forget me. He's over there uh, fucking me. rattling his chains like Marley and Marley, that cucks. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, but no, I'm not eating anything. I'll never eat anything ever again because eating is wrong and cowardly be, and, and no human boy. should ever do it. I'm sick of it. It's, I, it's I hit my breaking point. It's certainly yeah. cowardly. I hit my breaking point <laughs> last night where I had to put my foot down I, and, say, and say, no more. I'm drawing a line in the sand. I'm done. I'm boycotting <laughs> food for the rest of my life like fucking Gandhi because I was fucking sitting there. It was like yep. three in yep. the morning. And I'm watching Nate's, you know, everybody be a fit boy and exercise video, thinking, oh man, mm -hmm. Nate, the most su su such the a world. pretty boy. Would that I could be so pretty. But I'm sitting there at three <laughs> in the morning watching this video, and I'm shoveling chocolate cake in my mouth, and I'm eating like three slices of microwave <laughs> leftover pizza, and I'm dipping the pizza in like this fucking sugary sauce because I went with my woman to a restaurant <laughs> because we we got this sauce at this restaurant and because we're both such disgusting slobs, we, we, we went to the, the waitress and said, can we please have some of this sauce in like a jar or something? Can you scoop it off the walls so we can take oh, it fuck, home? Yes. So I've got this like restaurant sauce and this pizza and this chocolate cake and I'm just sitting there being a piece of shit, being a, an anti-human abomination, watching, watching Nate be a <laughs> monkey king on these fucking pull-ups and I said, that's it. Yep. I'm Gandhi yep. now. Never again. I'll never. Sh I'll never eat a food until I'm dead, and that's my you're goal not, for this month. That's like the monkey god. Eating. The sense that that you're like the, monkey the opposite god. of a human. You're the you're an anti-human in the sense that you're like an anti-pasta. Like you like like before you eat a human, <laughs> you, you will be like the appetizer before uh, the, the ogre gets to the actual humans. Let me just say the the whole anti-pasta movement is just the opposite of everything I like about human civilization. So let's. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell well, anyways, what I'm eating is this beautiful um, roasted pork over, um, what is it called, mustard greens? Mm. Um, but they're called, yeah. like, something mustard greens res preserved? Preserved mustard greens and cabbage. I got it at a Chinese restaurant last night. This one, this is Chinese restaurant in my town that has two menus. They have a white people menu and an Asian people <laughs> menu. Whoa. They give you both if they're not sure. You know what you're there for. <laughs> and they like, see dude with this lucky star shirt, and they're like, "We just don't know where this man lies." <laughs> they, the the one menu is just like all the standard crap you get at a Chinese restaurant. The other menu is like frog and fucking uh, oh, shit, yeah. jellyfish and like all this weird shit. Um, which I ordered this off of that menu, even though it's not particularly strange. But it's a it's steamed steamed pork. It's like a it's like in like a soup, and the soup just tastes like it's just salt. Um, but yeah, the yeah. but the, it's pretty delicious. The the meat just fucking falls away. It's like it's like a very tender. You know, you take a bite and it just comes right off. And then uh, cabbage, man, cabbage should be in everything. I fucking love cabbage, boiled cabbage. Um, That's great. It's such it's a really good, good base when people discover a vegetable that they like and then they can eat fill up. I'm on surprised. It. It's really I, good. These fucking mustard greens, which I... just looks like a fucking like a disgusting black mass of bullshit, uh, but it's actually <laughs> great. Um, everything in this is great. But yeah, I... I have discovered. I have discovered the miracle of Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts cooked mm. in bacon uh... fat. 
is like they, okay, okay they well i mean <laughs> well like, they're pretty they're pretty good on their own but if you cook them in a little bacon fat they become okay. a transcendent there's, experience there's something and possibly about, my favorite vegetable about about brussels sprouts is that i've always hated them and i decided one time to just start liking them because you know every christmas yeah. you have to eat them so i was like i may as well look like a good boy and finish everything on my plate i don't think that's and a I thing in them. america no. having to eat brussels no. sprouts on christmas oh well okay whatever it's, it's like, just, all, just fucking a thing. oliver twist over here is you know, he's the only one who has to eat that shit. <laughs> but, but it, Can you know, I it's... have some more? Oh, I don't want any more of those. Can more Brussels sprouts with my here. Christmas gruel. <laughs> 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 but, but yeah, it's like, I, there's always been a thing in my family of, uh, you know, finish what's on your plate. I mean, my dad and mm-hmm, doesn't mm-hmm. care so much, but my grandpa was always like if you don't finish what's because you know the war uh, was was a time when you had to <laughs> yeah. you had to you had to ration you know, your food otherwise war. you'll otherwise <laughs> you'll you know you gotta, yeah, you gotta I just eat realized everything you that have. you have a grandpa that sounds fascinating i want to like who who would your grandpa be he sounds like the most interesting man in the red pilled man on the fucking planet He's, i mean <laughs> yeah. the grandpa i'm talking about is actually very is quiet it winston and churchill and, just and, tell and, me it's winston churchill yeah. that's what i want to know he was a he was an raf fucking He's a fucking RAF pilot, and but he was very Whoa. he's very quiet and res- he's he's like me, but if he didn't make a YouTube channel, mm. oh no, the darkest well, timeline sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so sounds cool. Anyway, he there was this one time when I was a little boy, and I was like, you know, I, I he was he was looking after me because my parents were doing something, and mm-hmm. we were eating food, and I didn't like the vegetables. I was like, yeah. Because usually I don't eat vegetables as a kid. And he's like, I don't want to finish mm-hmm. it. I can go play now. And he said, no, sit down. You have to finish it. And I'm like, but, but that's never happened to me. I've never been told to Whoa. stay at the table. And he kept us there for hours. We were crying, Sick. me and my brothers. It was it was traumatic. But ever since that's then, badass. ever since then, I felt bad if I, if I leave food on a plate because, you know, I don't want to waste anything. So Brussels sprouts, I eat them now. I don't like them, but they're okay. There you go. Uh, well, trauma is good for children. Whoever's cooking those Brussels sprouts, just tell them to cook them in bacon fat. That's I'll, the secret. That's the secret. Yeah, I'll tell Actually, you, Nate. Right, I totally right, am with you on the, uh, some, some some blue pills right here. Uh, I'm totally <laughs> with you on the magic of discovering a new vegetable because yeah, yeah. I, I grew up. Uh, unlike a uh, hippo's grandpa, my parents were not strict at all about making us mm-hmm. eat everything, and so I just ate no vegetables at all. For like yeah, the majority yeah. of my life, except maybe like a carrot here and there, or some some corn, which isn't even mm-hmm. doesn't do anything. Um, so start, like, yeah. as I was becoming an adult, I remember I had this moment of discovery with onions. Like I had always just thought onions were were shitty and disgusting, and then all of a sudden I I don't I don't remember what it was I ate, but it had onions, and I was like, oh my god, this is a magical experience. And I got to a point where I would just literally boil a whole onion and eat it. <laughs> what like, the fuck? <laughs> that's like, that's pretty sick. I that's just eat sick. onion Hardcore. all the onions time. Onions delicious. And I wouldn't then, uh, just eat an onion. Yes. That's because you're weak, man. <laughs> um, onions well, are that's good for true. you because they make you cry, and that's emotionally healthy. It's important. Yeah. And you can sell yeah. the well, tears. They also have. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that onion paid for itself. If you, if, <laughs> if you look up, like, any vegetable and then, like, put into Google, like, is this healthy, it'll just turn up, like, 80 articles about how healthy that fucking vegetable is. So, uh... Yeah, the, the issue of health is so complex. Yeah, because well, cause like, you know, cause like every vegetable has some nutrients, and every nutrient like has, does yeah. something. And so like, I every- honestly think your average person is better off like not actually digging too deeply into like, oh my god, is this food healthy for me? Yeah, yeah. is that healthy for me? Like the, the general rule of like eating lots of vegetables. Just if you stick to that, and and if you can do yeah. like the Mediterranean sort of diet, yeah. that's like, that's, like a, the healthiest. You know, you know, you, like you, like you can't be like, you can't be like. You, you can't like, be uh, like, oh, lima wait, beans hey. prevent colon cancer. Better throw some of them them in my diet. Oh, and right. and, and uh, 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 <laughs> celery prevents eye strain. I better better toss some of that in for lunch. But I well, hate I was, celery. Celery sucks. I was more. Uh, yeah, I mean that that's true. But what was Jesse saying? You cut him off oh. like a rude piece of <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I think we cut off. each other off. Um, yeah, <laughs> isn't it, it was like a, like, of a, like a isn't it like a known phenomenon that like nobody in like the the nutrition community can decide mm-hmm. if eggs are good for you or not well some people I mean, think eggs debate. cause cancer which is a bit strange i mean i don't know all the details well but i like mean everything eggs, causes cancer i mean, I mean eggs, soda pop yeah. Yeah. is liquefied cancer for what it's worth eggs do cause that. a cancer they cause a cancer on the breakfast industry and i'm glad oh, i get to geez. rehash there this rant go. that i called into the dick show and they didn't play my voicemail but eggs have ruined <laughs> 
all of look i i don't i don't wake up at 5 a.m like normal people right i just am up at 5 a.m and i want to get <laughs> something to eat because i'm hungry and i go out and all anywhere will serve me is fucking eggs because somehow eggs good. somehow it became determined that breakfast just means eggs like it doesn't yeah. that's that's yeah. all it is it's just stuff the english but we put eggs in it you know so like you can go to any of the fast food places that open early anywhere that you go that's like a breakfast place all they'll fucking give you I, is some variation of eggs. And I don't really like eggs. I mean, I can eat them. They're fine. But I just think they're bland and boring. I, and I, I, you I know like what? egg. I like eggs, but I also resent being served eggs as a meal because I know yeah. they cost the restaurant like 30 cents for that. Like, like yeah. I know that that's true of everything, but I feel especially just, I feel I mean, that's especially ripped off. a big part of it because they're pay so for cheap eggs. that like, you know, it's like this cultural institution of like, hey, uh, breakfast is eggs and every restaurant's gonna be like, hell yeah, I want to serve fucking yeah, eggs yeah. with everything. Two, two you know? poached eggs, uh, uh, six and a half dollars, please. Like, yeah. You know, no, eggs, are, eggs are really yeah. Yeah, go on, Jesse. revolting if you think about them. Sometimes I'm eating an egg yeah. and mm. I think about like what it actually is that I'm eating. Like, this is just like a toenail that came out of a chicken's butt and inside of it there's like well. a goopy fetus that's like not fully developed and I'm just shoveling that in my mouth and like sometimes you crack open an egg and you get those twins and that's even more disgusting you're like oh my god that's two goopy fetuses but I'm gonna eat it anyways sometimes you might crack open an egg and it's like kind of developed and you're like oh my god am I gonna eat that one yes I guess I will because I I'm mean, a piece of fucking no, garbage I, I can't well, I, 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 I eat a lot of eggs feel like there's that, like but... eyeballs in it and like little no feathers. no sometimes sometimes I, I think of that but a lot of the time I don't but the reason is is because I like scrambled eggs the, the most because it's just you know it doesn't yeah. it doesn't look goopy and slimy and disgusting it's just nice and you know kind of rubbery and you eat it with bacon and toast it's like it's, at, it's good like that at some point I, I was always against this but at some point Nate conver Nate converted me to to the mm -hmm. runny sunny side up eggs that Dude, you, you dip your yes. you dip with your fucking you, I don't know you, you, you squish you mm. squish the runny yolks over your, your toast or your hash yeah. browns or something I hate that because if, I don't like oh, it's if so good out there, if it's you are so out there fucking, fucking cooking your good. yolks all the way through you are throwing away 99% yeah. well, of the well, fucking I, flavor you're, and joy you're throwing away your life you're throwing your life away Way, if you if don't eat runny yolks, I if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be devouring a chicken fetus, I want it yeah, as goopy right. as possible. Fuck mm -hmm. yeah, dude. Fuck I, yeah. I, well, I, yeah, I will, I will admit, like if you're doing it like sunny side up, it it shouldn't be hard in the in the in the yellow bit. I am a human chicken abortion machine. That's my. <laughs> Well, this is pretty much all just like plant vaginas and or dicks yeah, or it's something. Like embryos anyways, so yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all tree ejaculates. <laughs> like we mostly just <laughs> eat <laughs> fucking. We're, we're always voices. just guzzling cum, just in every yeah. direction from all <laughs> yeah. things. Everything it's all just cum. cum. <laughs> Everything is cum and vaginas and goopy shit, poopy. Everything is gross, and I love it. And I here's, want it all. Here's a trick. Mouth. Here's here's a bizarre thing that I just learned um, if you're cooking eggplants if you're buying eggplants go to the store mm -hmm. and look at the bottom of the eggplant and see whether the little like like button the, or the little like hole at the bottom where the stem or whatever the little like point at the bottom see if it's round or if it's like a slot like a line because if it's a slot that's a female eggplant and if it's a round dot it's a male eggplant oh, and, the, the and the yeah and the female eggplants have more seeds and are worse oh, so you always want to buy the male eggplant what kind of and fucking you, what kind of seth rogan food fight shit are you and, on you talking and about you always and you always so you always want to buy the ones with the dots hashtag dots not slots <laughs> <laughs> I learned learned that I learned that from Chef John of FoodWishes.com, who I've been fucking watching shit tons of cooking videos on lately. Here's a story a about uh, eggs. Well, well, eggplants suck. Well, my um, my shut up, Munchie. I just want to answer Nate and say that my girlfriend Jackie is the best cook I've ever met in my entire life. And really? yes, we watch a lot of mm. cooking videos together. Gross. And it's great fun. You sound defensive Second about that, but I'm not being accusatory. <laughs> uh, when, 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 I, when I was a baby yesterday. I, I, I was eating an egg, and, and uh, I, 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 my mother was in the room, and she said, you know what that is? And I was like, what? That's meat in its purest form, bitch. And I was what like, fuck? fuck yeah. I guess it is I guess it is like It's actually the, like, not -meat. meat at all cuz meat is muscle and there is literally no, no muscle it's, involved. No, yeah, but it's, it's like pre-muscle. It's like a pre, pre before it becomes an actual meat chicken. Well, okay. I mean, I'll sure. All yeah, right. So, there's a idiot. second very Don't important know. question <laughs> that I felt had to be answered by this podcast or else it'd be a huge failure, which mm -hmm. is what is everybody's favorite food? Sure, Obviously. Right. 
Yes. Here is um, something that Ben Saint has stolen from me that he can never repay. Okay. <laughs> His love for cherries. I'm I, the only person that's supposed to like cherries. I actually don't I'm even the only like cherries. That's that allowed to like them. I actually Everyone don't else even is a like them. Poser. Except in the context of the hashtag Ben Saint, the greatest what's, beverage. What's the hashtag Ben Saint? Well, why, don't, why don't you explain that for the well, audience? It's, huh? Well, it's the greatest beverage ever created. Um, you know, created by Munchie Shatsky, for whom it is named. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's whole milk with maraschino cherry juice and a couple of cherries, and you put ice in it, and you stir it. You, you, you put in the cherry juice until it's pink, and then you fucking stir it up, and you drink it, and it's nice and, nice and thick because it's cold from the ice, and it's got the nice juicy cherries at the bottom, and it's creamy, and it's sweet, and it's delicious, and it's the best thing ever made. Oh, it just makes me want one so bad. I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have one tonight. Tonight. Yeah, I'll, I'll, have, I'll have one too. We'll 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 dine and wine and 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 slime and kime. Mm, kime is slime. come spelled wrong. Delicious. <laughs> I, I, I I mistyped in my voice. Ben the Ben Saint <laughs> is one brand of slime, but it's a good. It's one of the, it's one of the it's one of the rare good aligned slimes. Um, I you should you should do it. Disrespectful to slime, but you two yeah. should do you you two should do it. Stealing your dad as if it was Ben Saint. That would be a good with the cherries. <laughs> then it would, then it wouldn't be a kidnapping. It would just be a murder. Well, okay. Is that actually your favorite? Is that actually your favorite food, though? Whom? Um, no. Well, yeah, that's, that's what we're getting ch- cherries, here, right? um, mm-hmm. cherries are like, yeah, 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 cherries are my favorite. Okay. So I... some, not- some notable mentions include hamburgers and shrimp and, um, mm. French dips. But other than mm. that, probably cherries. Oh, that, oh, that. Hey, speaking of which, when is that fucking, St- speaking of French dips, when is our Stealing Your Dad's coming out? Um, yeah, I've had it for like a week and then like I forgot, but I have all the audio, so it probably It's gotta out, be Arby's, like, right? It is, right it, is, it is Arby's. Um, Just, yeah. it'll, it'll be out right now. <laughs> um, so, my favorite food. Now, it's it's a shit choice. It's a shit choice for babies, but I can't help it because I have too many Gerber fond childhood... Food? I have too many fond childhood <laughs> memories of eating mashed potatoes for them not mm, to be my favorite food. That's fine. Yeah, I was a big fan. Um, and they, you can just you can you can prepare them so many ways. You know, you can sp- oh, spice them. You, you leave, you, put- you always leave the peel on. Leave that peel in there. Yeah, that's where the flavor is. Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah, do you, I fucking do you mix love milk? mashed potatoes. Do you mix milk oh, in with your mashed potatoes? Yeah, some. Yeah, of course. Some. Of course. Before we, I mean, get I guess to- you don't have to. Before we go any farther, potatoes. Here, though, that reminds me of your favorite game of all Digi time, Let's Ben. Spa. Portal Two. <laughs> it, it's a good game. It's a good game. <laughs> It's both not as good guys, as Portal 1. Both of you guys yep. have named very, like, general food, like hamburger or, like, uh, mashed potatoes. Uh, like, that's fine, but I also want to know, do you have, like, a specific favorite food? Uh, like, like, like Munchie, when you say hamburgers, surely you don't grade all hamburgers I, the same. I like, there must be a I place you have a favorite. I can't pick, I can't pick a specific favorite food, um, because like every other day, Jackie will make something that is literally the best thing I've ever tasted. Yeah. Uh, so it just keeps, it just, it just keeps evolving. It's, it just keeps evolving. <laughs> Eating People real food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking sick in me. My <laughs> it, it is disgusting. It's disgusting <laughs> and it's vile, but I, I can't. I'm learning. I'm learning what food is meant to be. It's funny that we mention the Bin Saint, and then I get to unveil my very own The Munchie, a.k.a. The Chastity Fortress, which is my name <laughs> yes. for, for, for my, for my custom-made hamburger. It, it is the following. Make this at home, everyone, and send me screenshots. You, you know that one Twitter that I have pinned and, like, send me pictures of hamburgers? This is what this was mm-hmm. made for. The Munchie. Two buns. Three patties, preferably buffalo. Oh you know, God. buffalo is in kind of, you know, you know, you, you can't really kill them without uh, people, like, slapping your ass. <laughs> then, for the cheese, you get pepper jack. Then you get two slices of bacon for each layer. Sorry, sorry, Munchie, I have to interrupt you because Digi is tapping or something and it's making, it's it's annoying me. What what am I tapping? What's happening? I think maybe you're tapping, you, you're moving your leg and it's I think, making a noise. I think yeah. you're tapping that ass, that bro. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tap yeah. My yeah. Own ass. I'm shaking on my desk. All right, can, and, continue, and, and, anyway, continue Munchie. The secret, the fucking secret, the way to make, the way that elevates the Munchie is when you have the pepper jack, you have to use A1 sauce and Worcestershire sauce. It brings out the flavor in the peppers, right. and and also you can, you can add you 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 can, you can add more 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 like preferably a lot of pepper jack will be there, so it, so it gives you that tang and that um that slang and that slime and uh, that plime. I think I think I might have to try that. 
I think I might it's have really to make some of those. Dude. It's pretty really soon. fucking good. Mm. Mm. The the, the the munchie, aka the chastity fortress. <laughs> chastity fortress. <laughs> the cha- that's that's fantastic. Okay, the, uh, who's next? Uh, oh. Well, I I have difficulty choosing a favorite f- meal because every time I've had a meal, I'm like, well, I haven't had that other meal in a while, so I, I sort of switch between a few favorites, like. You know, well, we all know this question is just so long. Digit can talk about his favorite food. I, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't even I don't even care that much oh, really? about mine. I just oh, this okay. this to me was like the only thing I could imagine this podcast being was talking about your favorite <laughs> foods, like because yeah. it's one thing to talk about food on like a broad conceptual level like we That's usually what do I on the PCP, this to be. but that. <laughs> if we're gonna do I, a whole podcast about food, it has to get into the bones of it. All right, there's I too much to say. Don't fuck this up, guys. Well, I, 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 ex- was, I, I ex- was gonna give some examples. I expected yeah. Nate to be like, guys, the thing about food is that when you step back and look at it from a cosmic <laughs> scale, <laughs> yeah. that's right, that's right. What even is food? It's just a little way to to delay the inevitable decline of the universe and you know, I mean, our little pitiful existence. That's fine. Just, I get, we need like, to evolve I, beyond food. I have we lots of. Do. We kind of do. I could talk about nutrition all day. I could talk about this and that, but like. I am legitimately just interested in hearing about individual food items. Like, I really want to know. If you tell me, like, hey, I ate this at this place, I'm like, I want to know about that so I can well, go hey, there and also eat all that. Right. You well, know? Let's uh, the thing, the thing I'm going to say is not necessarily something uh, you can get in a restaurant, but it is a specific uh, food uh, that is made in England. It's a Cumberland sausage, and uh, the specific meal mm. I like with it is a uh, Cumberland sausage with... With uh, you know olive oil and a bunch of vegetables, uh, chili and garlic, and 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 salt and pepper and and bunch of spices, just a bunch of vegetables and, and Cumberland sausages all mixed up together in a thing, well, and just spiral. roasted, yeah. and 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 roasted for like an hour or or something, and it's just it just comes out and it's like, mm. it's just perfect. It's just mm. it's it, I I don't know how to describe it. It's it's probably some sort of thing my dad picked up by watching. Uh, cooking shows or going to you know Italy or something, you know he's he's a very well uh, you know traversed well uh, culinary guy. He knows a lot about different foods from different places. He's and he he made it and he's great and it's great and I really like it. Is the thing is the dish you're talking about the toad in the hole? No, that has I, I like that as well, but that's more like a the the hole is made of batter. A hole for you. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very easy to make that a euphemism, and yeah. the, the toad is the sausage, and the hole is like this weird batter that you make, and you put the sausage in there, and it's it, it's kind of nice. I got gravy. a weird batter for you. Yes. I got a food I, podcast. Please let me <laughs> have sex. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, no. the truth comes out. <laughs> no, no, you're not allowed. I, I was impersonating you, fucking cowards. It was a joke. <laughs> because you're so uninvolved. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, Cum- Cumberland sausages are the best sausages because they have the mm. most crap in them. I just there's something about something because a lot of sausages, like in, like German like bratwurst and stuff, they they get rid of a lot of you know it's mostly meat. It's like ninety percent meat and like ten percent well, gristle and, and fat. But the Cumberland meat sausages. In a stool. The Cumberland sausages, like they have a lot of the grist and the and the crumble and the, and the gross shit that makes it just so strangely delicious. It's, what it's percentage? Great. What percentage Dorito and what percentage G Fuel is in those? And you know, like, what's the Mountain Dew ratio? A hundred percent, probably. Okay. okay yeah, here's right. here's a, here's a thing. Here's a thing about food, right? Because like, okay, when I was like when I was like in like college or something, like like late in college, I got real into exercising, and I try and I was like, okay, I'm gonna eat real healthy, because at the time I was on like college food plan, I could basically eat whatever I want, like yeah. it made no difference. So I would do like paleo, I would eat like lots of like lean meat and stuff and fruit and whatever. I, it was, was and I was fine. I was like, yeah, eating healthy. But then I got out into the real world, and I was like, wait a minute, I have to pay for my food, and then <laughs> and then and then I was like, you know what, I it's not worth. It. It's it's not where I'm, I'll just. I'll oh eat, no! I will not eat. let you spread those kind of lies. That's bullshit. I'll eat, that I'll, is bullshit. I'll eat. I'll eat whatever. I'll eat whatever I can survive on. I know, like there have been times, like well, especially oh, like okay. post Astro Camp, when I was just like living in someone's like side room for free for a while. I there were times. I think. I think at least one day I would like wake up, like go to the kitchen, and be like, "Hmm, what's here? What's here that no one remembers buying? 
that I can survive. And I would eat like, I would like, I don't know, like mix up a pie crust and just like eat the pie crust because like, and like that would be my food for the day. And I'd be like, that's yeah, that's alternative. Yeah. Like, like that's pretty good. We that's call pretty ben good. Ben leftover well, saint for a reason. <laughs> when, when you or, are like no, I, would, below... I, would, I would get creative with it. Like I would take that pie crust and maybe I'd sprinkle cheese on it or something and maybe make some like, maybe make some like some cheese mm. straws out of it or something. Just, just, well, just, you know, just trying to fucking survive in this, cr- okay. this harsh world. But it is true that you do need a certain base level of, you know, money to be able to live. But it is not like, it's not like you'd have to be on the fucking whole it's not foods like you diet need to, live. to survive and be healthy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Hippos, ben, worth, ben, don't be like Ben, folks. Don't be like Ben. I'm not it's saying anyone example. should be like me. I don't, I'm I just telling the story. Ben is necessarily saying that healthy food is more expensive than unhealthy food. What he's saying well. is that any food costs any money, and he would <laughs> rather eat literally like – like Ben eats – shitloads of leftovers so in that case it's just it's free it's free food so the there's question isn't what kind of food is it it's there's who something is eating it well, I, don't, sure. I don't know i don't know if this is like a learned association i have from those lean times or if it's just what i'm about naturally but i have some kind of i get some kind of primal satisfaction from taking something that is barely food and like turn and like like i don't know <laughs> like last night i had like i had like a food, bucket of i had like a, like a tupperware thing of gravy and I was like, I have nothing to eat. Like, we're all out of biscuits. I can't, I can't, there's nothing I can eat this gravy on. So I toasted bagels and I put the gravy on the bagels. And I was like, yeah. well, this is an untraditional way of enjoying bagels and gravy. But you okay, know no, what? That's fu- it's satisfying. I'll, sure. All, all I'm saying is, yes, if you're in survival mode and you'll take whatever you have to in order to survive. Which is the then, only yeah, mode I, that Ben has. I'm constantly, I'm constantly in fight or flight mode. <laughs> I, I understand that you'll just, you know, you'll do whatever it takes. But I am just saying that it's like it, that doesn't apply to anyone currently on this podcast or to probably anyone listening. If you're listening to this podcast, you can, you can afford to. Yo, eat. yeah. Like all it is is like instead of buying a fucking twelve pack of fucking bagels and downing them, instead of buying like a big fucking thing of lettuce and chopping that up and eating that instead. Like it's you it's probably save money. Really. If I fruit if is I had, way cheap, man. Fruit if I had it, yeah, no, yeah. If, if I had Fuck any prepackaged foods, prepackaged foods are the biggest scam in the world. Never yeah. do it. That's, that's I mean, if I had if the... I had like any disposable income at all, I would I would probably spend yeah. it on food and to like. Yeah, I would buy like you know like lean meats and stuff because that's yep. you know, yep. but yeah. whatever, that's fine. Um, no, that's fine. The, the the problem I've always had this is kind of not exactly food but cooking. The problem I've always had with eating healthy and stuff like that is that if I wanted to, you know, cook food and and so that I would eat food, I would have to know that I want I'm going to be hungry soon, and I yeah. can never think when but you, that but you, will be. No, but that doesn't make sense because you always know you're going to need food in the future. I know, but it's I 100 percent consistent. I, I, th- there have been a couple times when I thought, you mm-hmm. know, I'll probably be hungry in an hour, and then yeah. I wasn't mm-hmm. hungry when I finished cooking, and I'm like, oh, and then that doesn't uh, make sense. How well, did you get not hungry after a while? I no, I it know. said he what well, he wasn't hungry, but he was like, I should make this food before I get hungry so that I'm not waiting an hour after I'm hungry to eat fucking food, uh, which is what my problem is. Well, the problem I, there is there's I, I a totally lack of a routine. You need a routine. You got This is a mechanical thing. It's not special. It doesn't it's, matter. It, it requires yeah. practice, but uh, right, uh, right. fuck it. <laughs> Um, I was I was I was getting to something about talking about like taking like bullshit food and turning it into a meal. There's there's okay. something that there's something I really appreciate because because like I've been watching cooking videos, especially Chef John, and there's something incredibly satisfying that he does that I did not realize is like a part of cooking. But I think this is something that like real cooks will do is he'll take mm. he'll take like he'll take all the ingredients and he'll cook them together, but then he'll like he'll use like the runoff bullshit. Like like yeah. like the extra the excess crap and he'll reincorporate it like he'll right, like he'll right. like he'll be like making a stir fry like a stir fry filling for like a pie or something he'll fry it in a pan and then he'll take that out but then he'll like put water into the pan and like sizzle the like the seared like like oils and shit off the pan and like boil that down into like a sauce and like pour it onto the, the oh, stuff dude. For, like. I invented yeah. that back in high school. Me yeah. and my friends. <laughs> no, it's true. Me and, me and my pals, we, we invented this recipe, and you can do this at home, kids. It's real cheap. It's a real disgusting experience that will kill you. Is um, this the but if you're chefs? young, if you're, if you're a teenager, if you're young, if you have years of your life to burn with reckless eating, you should try this <laughs> great recipe that I invented. It's called fat noodles. What you do is, is you... Is, <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Fat noodles, <laughs> aka the endless jets. <laughs> <laughs> I got a fat noodle for you. 
That's what it's named after. <laughs> if, so first, you make a bunch of noodles, right? Just a bunch of regular noodles. Any kind of noodles you want. You can go crazy. It's the, the, the choice of noodles is up to you. This is a free form. Anyone, it's like a Western RPG stat building. Make your own goddamn noodle. I don't give a shit. You make, make a bunch of noodles. Then you fry up a bunch of sausage. Now, mm. this is where it gets tricky. After you have your sausages, throw your sausages away. Put them in the garbage. You don't need them. They're worthless. <laughs> throw the sausages away <laughs> and just take, just take the excess, the, the sausage grease in the pan and pour them over the noodles. And now you've got some delicious fat noodles that will kill you. And it's very important <laughs> that you do... Why not just put the sausage no, in? This no, is good I'm shit. explaining that. It's very important that you throw the sausages away because the the sensation of being a fat American who wastes food is part of the fat noodle <laughs> right, experience. Yes. You have to be right. as wasteful yes, as possible. Yes, you have to no, be wasteful and slimy Christ. and greasy and just pour this disgusting grease all over your noodles. And then you can be a fat noodle boy. Yeah. <laughs> You can be so a real of, American. Yeah. No, so no, instead here, of no, here's, here's, instead here's of reincorporating my... the, the the stuff, you're just you're just <laughs> dis destroying the main part. Yeah, of that's, it. The, that's the that's the opposite of what I'm talking about. Throw in the garbage about. for Ben to eat later. <laughs> you can have your fucking fat. Yeah, I was gonna, I was yeah. gonna say variant variant on this recipe. Don't throw them in the garbage. Seal them in an envelope and mail them. <laughs> mail them that's to Ben Saint. No, no, that's Patreon. That's Ben Saint. Send him your sausage. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's the fate. That's the fate of all disposed uh, food in this world. Eventually, all food flows to Ben. It's I, just I imagine, the nature of this imagine world. Imagine there's just I'm just like sitting under a funnel with like just yes, bits of sausage right. just dripping down into my mouth, and then like camera pans out to do this huge network of gears and like steampunk <laughs> cogs turning and tubes just funneling food from every landfill. And you mean to hear that 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 just like you are like uh, Sephiroth at the core of the earth and like you have sent out your avatars, your Ben Saints around the world to mm -hmm. gather the resources that you need and to, to you know, uh, complete your little missions. But all the energy is being funneled towards you at the center. All this garbage <laughs> you're, food. You're, you're That's where it there, all goes. You're standing there in the temple of the ancients next to yes. a garbage can about to throw away your sausages <laughs> and Ben Saints avatar commands your mind to walk over and hand him the sausage and you're fighting it with all of the strength you can muster. I, no! He yes. can't have the sausage! To I want destroy that. all mankind. I can't give it to him. <laughs> but you give him the sausage. You can't help I it. Want, he controls your mind. I want that. I want that sausage. <laughs> I want that sausage more than life itself. <laughs> Get a fucking job, Ben. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, no earlier... saying, like, like, like Chef John. He'll like, he'll like, he'll take a lobster uh, and he'll just like murder this lobster right in front of you, and he'll pull out all the meat, and he'll pull out all the meat, and he'll be like, oh, you can, yeah, just leave, you know, leave the shells, leave the guts all in there. That's fine. And then he'll like, he'll put, he'll put like. The, he'll put like the the shell, like the dead lobster shell, into like a stock, into like a pot, and like boil it with some herbs and shit. And then he'll mm -hmm. like take that fucking boiled shell water and like pour it over and like and cook the meat in that shit because he wants to just re retain. He wants to, doesn't want to lose an ounce of that precious lobster goodness that costs yeah. like forty dollars a pound. You know what I'm saying? And that yeah. shit it's is deeply about, deeply it's satisfying. About to Father me. John with you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Father. So, early... Father. Oh, I was gonna. What's Earlier, Nate Father brought Aiden up uh, from 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 Secret of Kells. Nate brought up Doritos, yeah. and I had to ask which which Doritos are you guys? What what side are you on? Good question. Spicy, spicy um, nachos. Does it, there are sides. Spicy? There's is the Cool Ranch flavor? and the Nacho Cheese. The cool All right, ranch. here we go. Play oh, the flag. Fucking Ew, racist. Here. Fuck the Cool no, okay. Ranch. Is the fuck good Cool one. Ranch. Fuck Cool Ranch. No, I'm hard. a Nacho it's, Cheese boy for it's life. It's hard. I think I just like the texture of like the powdery, the powdery Doritos cheese. Doritos are bad. I like I the, the Nacho Cheese. I just don't think the nacho there's a spice. There's a spicy, fiery one that these people aren't talking about. It's a, it's a, it's a third party one that no, that the big wigs won't elect. I'm munchy. I'm not in the Doritos binary. Okay, my favorite Doritos. Doritos. There's Doritos that are good. There's that one that Tom's obsessed with, and those ones are probably the sweet, best. Sweet chili, but, I think. But the thing is, is, is the, the purple one. Yeah. Yeah. But I the think thing so. is that I mostly eat Doritos because they come with sandwiches. Like you go somewhere to buy a sandwich, <laughs> yeah. and they have a chip. 
thing set up, and the only ones they're going to have are this Cool Ranch and, and Nacho Cheese. That's why this distinction is important. If the purple one was everywhere, it would be no contest. Mm-hmm. It's way better than the other two. But, but like, I That's think the fair. Nacho That's Cheese fair. ones just taste like chips. Like, they just taste like any other chips, but the Cool Ranch is, like, a completely unique flavor to Doritos. I don't know, man. I the thing about like, Doritos like, is they're such garbage, and I'm not knocking them. I like them. But they're such garbage that, like, it doesn't even matter what they taste like. Just the fact that they're, like, a piece of ho- of hard bread with salt on it. Like, that's what you're paying for. I and that's what you get, regardless of flavor. I detest the entire Edo's family. Uh, Fritos, <laughs> Doritos. I'm going to make a YouTube series called The Ten Edos, where I categorically <laughs> go through all of the different Edos and why they're all fucking disgusting. Fritos? Fritos are just toenails. That's all they are. They're not even a I snack. No, they're fine. Love Fritos. Oh they're gr- those are like among. No, because those are those are the actually greasiest chip on the planet. They are disgusting. I hate oh, Fritos. Man, you gotta they put are them so in some bean dip gross. and shit. No, yeah, if that, I that's just poisoning my a perfectly good into a bean Fritos dip. bag, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. That's true. Here's well, the, the real god tier chip: <laughs> oh, sour no, cream wouldn't. and onion Lay's. Oh no, that's the good shit. That is uh, Lay's is also good greasy. I like the, the ridged. I like the ridged Lays ones. Is, I also like Lay's is, is Walkers, right? I think that's the the alternative. The the, the, the same company, Walkers and Lay's are the same. I've never heard know. of Walkers. I've never yeah, walked before in my life. <laughs> Maybe that's the I, I, I think I think uh, yeah, it's the British version. Um, mm-hmm. th- there's a flavor of Walkers that is the best flavor ever, and I I'm not sure you have zombies. it. It's a uh, <laughs> the, the prawn cocktail. Have you ever Pr- had prawn one of those? cocktail? What? It's a very what? strange name, but it's fuck? like it's a very tangy, delicious so flavor. Like but it's very it's it's yeah. it's hard to it, no, it doesn't taste like prawn or mm. shrimp. It's a very oh, strange. It just, it just tastes to, like to like the seasoning. It tastes like the seasoning you put on. Wait, is prawns. it like is it like prawn as in like P R zero N as in like gamer speak for porn? Is that is that <laughs> yeah. the, the flavor? Yeah, prawns. It's, it's, I'm just gonna explain. Sick. These these chips just come with best, a big like picture of an anime flavor. girl on them. <laughs> Every English person knows that is the best flavor of of, of crisps ever uh, made. No. And I don't know whether America has it. I, I guess not. Everyone, I've never seen it, dude. Never every seen it. every, every Japanese person, every Japanese person knows that consomme is the best flavor because you can take a potato chip and eat it. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't even death, like chips that note. much, so I don't want to keep talking about chips. Let, let's get back to the question fine. of uh, favorite wait, foods. Wait. Who, who hasn't gone? Okay. Yeah. Finish your point. Yeah. Finish your point. Uh, well, I, I was going to go on something else. Oh. Okay. If somebody uh, wanted to talk about, that I had a food. dream. I had a dream one time that um, I lived in a dystopian America future. And this has nothing to do with your oh. favorite food. <laughs> and it, it does. It might. It might. I had a dream one time that I lived in a dystopian <laughs> future, and America was at war with the Middle East, and okay. uh, things were getting bad. Things were getting 9/11. real bad. Only <laughs> that would never this... happen, Ben. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> madness. No. Is this. But in this world, in this world, um, the the econo- Yeah, the, the the Middle East was still like the cornerstone of the world economy. However, they were not so because their major export was oil. No, in this world, the Middle East's major export was breakfast. And <laughs> yeah, and so oh, and oh my one God. more, and I awoke. Meal. And I awoke in this nightmare, and I came downstairs to my ba- holy shit <laughs> to my to my bathroom to my bathroom medicine cabinet, where everyone knows is where you go to eat breakfast. And right. I opened my bathroom medicine cabinet and looked inside, and was horrified to find there's no eggs, there's no there's there's no oh sausage, God. there's there's no there's no grapefruit juice, my favorite. <laughs> Damn you, George W. Bush! What have you done? We're a war criminal. Have died in the You're a war criminal. Where's my breakfast, George? <laughs> and that was it. Wow. That was my dream. That actually had nothing to do with your favorite food, but uh, it was, it was good, about food, good, bitch. son of a bitch. Yeah, he's, all right. he's, he's going on talk shows now, talking about his paintings. Everyone's clapping like he's such a good guy. They didn't. Yeah. They, they all forgot he started the breakfast wars and doomed millions <laughs> to go without their grapefruit juice. That fucking war oh, criminal. Oh god, I How fucking funny. that. You know that wait, that should have been the plot of food wars. That that's really me, a bore. Uh, I know. Uh, I know. There's. I know. There's divided opinions on this issue, but I fucking love grapefruit juice. I know I, not, I it's not. It's not for everyone. Dude, I I, I bought a big old. Yeah, I bought I'm, a big I'm, one the other day and drank that shit. It was great. It's actually I like it best mixed with a bunch of orange juice. I like. I'm, I'm oh, way this... into grapefruit juice. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm way right. into grapefruits. You know, good taste. I'm way I into good taste. fucking love grapefruits. Dude. I'm, I'm getting like the older I get, right. I'm starting to acquire this this uh, this brain thing where like. The healthier a food is, the better it tastes to me. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I, yeah. I, I, I know that, that I'm dying, and I just can't take yep. it anymore. 
<laughs> You're getting unretarded because you were raised in a retarded, stupid system where literally in our country, no one gives a fuck about what you eat because we are the most retarded civilization. Was, yeah, I was raised ever on existed. fucking poor food. And like, now fucking, you're learning. I, yeah. I ate nothing but fast food until I was 20 and I got Disgusting. used to it. How and, do we even now, survive on that shit? It disgusts me. Like I eat, I it's gross. I eat fast food and I'm like, this Dude, doesn't taste good. I've, it tastes like I've poop. I've finally gotten to the point where I can't, where like fast food tastes like shit to me and it makes me feel sick. But I yeah. keep eating it just because I get in the car to go <laughs> drive to get food and then something in my brain goes, I don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have to wait even one minute for my food, so I'm going to eat fast food. And then I regret it for the next six hours. So. And then what happens? You go to fucking Wendy's and you order your spicy chicken, and they say, oh, it'll be about ten minutes. What the fuck, Wendy's? Yeah. I yeah. only come here because I want food now. <laughs> if my fast yeah. food is going to serve me shit and also take long to serve me shit, then they that, should be fucking nuked from orbit. I hate that shit. You got to yeah, pull to the side and sit like on the on like to the side of the yeah. drive through oh, while yeah, other guys yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then the fucking the, the girl Every comes out with a bag and has to walk to across the parking lot like a fucking... Like like a like yeah. a surf like a lowly peasant. It's embarrassing for her. It's humiliating. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for her. I want her to have a better life. I hate you, Wendy's. Die. <laughs> I I had that happen yesterday where I went. It was it was like pouring. I got in the car and the second I got in the car, it started just pouring rain like super hard. And so I was like, all right, well I'm gonna go to a fast food place that I know has an awning. Like so I won't have to get wet at all. I want to get out of the car. So I go to Chick Fil A. And I don't notice until I'm like at a point where I can't leave that there's this huge <laughs> line. So I'm in the like I'm thinking oh, I'll go there so it'll be fast and I won't get wet. And it's like 20 fucking minutes that I'm waiting just to get some fast food. Uh, yeah, it was pointless. It, you know, it, it wasn't even a, raining yeah. by the time I got the food. I, I have an old war story that I've never told about the horrors of the fast food industry and what happens when All their right. gross incompetence, uh, you know, fucks you in the ass. As it does, it was it was a long time ago. Back back in my high school days, me and my friends were were at a place, and, and we and like like two of two of us were sent out to get KFC for the whole crew. The whole group was all there waiting for us. We had a mission. We had a holy crusade to find KFC and bring it back. So we go in mm -hmm. our car and we get we go to KFC and we go to the drive-thru and KFC says, and I quote, "We are out of chicken." Yeah, I've had, that too. I've had that too. So, what the <laughs> fuck? It's worthless. We're like, what yeah. the fuck do we do? We didn't even know that was possible. It, it blew our minds. It shouldn't be a thing that happens. And in, in if, if there was a just and loving God, it wouldn't happen. But so KFC was right, out of chicken. Right. What do we do? The people at the house are expecting KFC. We had no other alternatives. We had to go to Arby's. So we go to Arby's. And Those we, people are bloodthirsty. No. You cannot come back to the house without chicken. Oh, It'll oh, be a bloodbath. Oh, we learned. We learned. Because we went and we got Arby's. <laughs> we got these beef and cheddar. So we, it's like, oh, well, it's it's not it's not chicken. But, you know, maybe uh, they, they have to mm. understand, right? Surely they'll understand that KFC <laughs> yeah, was the, Yeah, out these of are chicken. our friends. These yeah, are our friends. They care about <laughs> they us. They wouldn't cast us out into the cold. We go back to the house <laughs> with our fucking Arby's. We we give them the Arby's. They go, "What the fuck is this?" And they like <laughs> they like don't let us come in the house. Uh, they take the Arby's, what but they don't the let Jesus. us come in the house. We're, uh, they take banished. the Arby's too. Yeah, we're banished <laughs> to the outside all night. It's like it's it's it's, 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 it's like. Like 35 degrees. It's it's really fucking cold out there. We can't go in the house. This is all night. We are we are in the backyard. Me, me and my buddy. We had to go. We got shovels. We dug a trench, an actual World War Jesus One trench in the backyard, and we huddled Christ. and cuddled in a trench for warmth all night and slept in the backyard because our friends wouldn't allow what us in the, the house. We had we had the dog next to us. Eventually, the dog got let in, but we were still <laughs> in the fucking trench. In the backyard. Even that dog had more honor. <laughs> I'm sure what? the dog had wow. some Arby's once it was in there. I'm sure they enjoyed our Arby's. I'm sure the Arby's went over well once they actually started eating it. Yeah, but, you see, but we by, by that still, time, we were, by that it was time, a matter we were of persona principle. non grata. We were, we were banished right. from the land. <laughs> I just love the idea of them, like, in there, just like, you know what? Mm, I'm kind of enjoying these Arby's. No, fuck Jesse, though. Fuck that guy. How dare he betray our trust like that? They, they, they open the curtain a little to peer, and they can see you shivering there, and they're just like, huh. Fuck that guy. We were dude. seriously, we guy. dug, like, like a, like a, like a six-foot hole in the ground, and we were, like, they... we, like, we covered the top of it with, like, sticks and leaves, so it was, like, a little cave to hide in from the elements that were battering our flesh. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, these fat cats inside lick their, <laughs> lick the Arby's <laughs> sauce off their. Fat, fat cats. 
Holy shit. Oh my god, yes. That's the greatest fast food story of all time. What did you say to those people when you finally got to... I, I know what he said. He said, "I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. Forgive me, please, <laughs> I, I please." Bowed down I on all fours them for the rest I'm of my so life. I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. I'm sorry. I've brought dishonor to the clan. Please yes. forgive me, so I don't have to commit seppuku. <laughs> Those guys are fucking traitors to our They're race. God damn. Uh, that's that's some of the sort of race we're over right there. That's 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 one. Um, uh, well, I have uh, mm-hmm. one more thing to bring up. Uh, which I alluded to in another podcast, and I, I really hoped Mage would be here for this because she really she really has strong opinions on this, and doubtless she, she she is in the comments right now, like angrily attacking me viciously <laughs> uh, for liking thin crust pizza. Uh, I mean All thick right. crust pizza. I hate thin crust. Oh, that's the one. God. I hate it's, thin crust. It's time thin for this debate. Sucks. It's time for this debate. Thin crust is objectively superior. It is the know. best right. way to I have think, pizza. I, I, what I'd be totally happy okay, eating. You. But I don't. Why can't we all just get along? I'd be totally happy eating thin because crust and thin crust there, we, pizza. There's skin in the game, Ben. We've been Wait, arguing about define, it. Now it's a matter of ego. Define thin crust real quick. What are we? What kind of thin okay, crust are we uh, talking about? Uh, I, have you ever had Papa Gino's? You probably never have had. Are we just, talk, are we just talking about like normal pizza versus like deep dish? Because I'm actually well, not that into deep dish. I don't dish. know, but what, when I think of thin crust, I think of crust that is like a is um, like it's almost thinner than the toppings. Yeah. The issue like is, yeah, like the it's, issue it's, is like it's the way you like, bite it. Is it hard? Yeah. Are you talking about hard? Thin no, 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 no. It's not. It's not hard. Like, okay, there's this place, Papa Gino's, where I actually worked for. Well, actually, several I am years talking in high school. about hard. I don't like it. Yeah, I am talking about hard as well. Okay, yeah. well, let me just describe pizza from Papa Gino's, because because it sounds to go me to like the, thin crust is getting a bad rap here. Uh, what was it? Uh, I mean, I'm mm. assuming, Nate, uh, that what you're describing, you. what you're going to describe is just New York style Urban Dictionary. Pizza. It's pretty much just normal pizza, but a little thinner. Like, well, okay. New, I, New York like. style Papa pizza has extremely thin crust, but it's like, mm. it's that kind that's like super, um, it's, it's thin, but it's like almost watery. It's like, it's like, well, it's like when you pick up the slice and it folds in half, you know, like yeah. that's normal. But when, that can when you specifically with order thin crust from somewhere like a uh, pizza hut or something like that, or like yeah. a, any of the places, they'll give you like this hard crust. It's like a super thin, it's like a chip almost. It's and a that shit cracker. sucks. Okay. Those, those people are fucking it up. They're giving a bad name because it's, it's supposed you. to be. Okay. Cause that's what I don't yeah. like. Fuck. I don't okay. like it when okay. it's crispy. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thin crust is <laughs> really nice. Yeah. yeah. You like the Wait, you like the, you the thick. Oh, because yeah. you're a pizza yeah, hot boy. I, li- you're I like, a pizza I like hot boy. the cracker shit. I like it. It's, no, it tastes that good. Mm, I don't know, dude. No, dude, all no, pizza is a no. Nightmare. It tastes I, I, good. It's it's like a party in my <laughs> mouth, and no one of the minorities are invited. <laughs> I kind of like I kind of like I kind of like the thin but like floppy, like thin floppy yeah, that's bottom to my style. pizza. Yeah, I'm into that. I mean, I, 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 I like great. all crust, but thin thin crust is getting monopolized by they're, look, they're look, getting look, mistreated. Uh, they're here, have a slave revolt. I, I'm a bit of an expert on this, okay? Because I was I was a pizza boy for many oh, years yeah. here. So I'm about, sure. I'm specifically Italian. specifically I am I'm a quarter. I am a there you go. Baba baba boom. Um, uh, so, okay, the great thing about thin crust pizza, and it, again, like, it can't be that hard shit, that's garbage, you can't overcook it, but it, 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 it the, yeah. the real idea is that it highlights the sauce. When you're biting into yeah. that, you're, you're not, like, you don't have a mouthful of fucking bread. You've got some of the bread, just a sort of a base foundation, but that's when you can really enjoy, and Papa Gio's has really good sauce. I, I, I don't know, I really love Papa Gio's, they're really yeah. good. I mean, uh, to me, to me, a pizza uh, yeah. place really comes down to how good is their sauce. Like, it's all about the sauce, that's the all main, about the sauce. Like, when you eat New York pizza, they're all cooked the exact same way. Way, but if their sauce yeah. is better, then that's the one you go to. I, yeah. I I went to I had a lot of New York pizza, you know, because I went to school in New Jersey and was always, uh, you know, in the area. And uh, yeah, like they were good. I don't know. <laughs> Papa Gino's is better. I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. I love Papa Gino's. If you're in Massachusetts, to the whole Northeast, go to Papa Gino's. You'll love it. It's the best. Get the get the barbecue get the barbecue chicken pizza at Papa Gino's. That's my favorite one. It's got good. barbecue I, I sauce instead of instead of tomato sauce, and it's got red. I want to take it. you, mm. Gib. I want to take you to Papa Gino's, Gib, someday. Yeah, I I have a feeling that maybe pizza in the UK is just overall shit because mm-hmm. that one time at BronyCon where we had we had all that that pizza delivered to that room. Yeah, and, we, and yeah. it was really nice. It was it was just like an actually nice sauce, oh, and it was yeah, that it was, was it was a thin pizza, I, oh. but it was nice and floppy. And the, the the tomato sauce on it was actually really really good. I've never had a sauce on a pizza that good, yeah. which is mm. why generally when there's a pizza, I only think of what meat is on it and how mm-hmm. thick the bread mm-hmm. is. And I like bread, so that, 
you know, that's that's the There's, best thing about a in, pizza for in, me generally. Right, weird right. weird thing in in Poland, like they had like pizza places and like burger places were not as common there and it was weirdly different like i couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was but like the pizza that i would get in poland was just a little different than any it's like they didn't quite have the same like like grade of ingredients they were making it out of it yeah. was all like it was all like big and soft and like i don't know like oh, a dude. little like a little too cheesy and the burgers dude. there like the burgers you would get there they were always like they were always kind of floppy and pinkish in some in like the meat was like pinkish like How hard it just is it to cook a fucking burger that's, I don't know it just didn't shit. it yeah. just didn't I think like the, the meat uh, was different or something w- when I was in Tokyo like pizza was like a deluxe thing that you would you'd see all these dudes out on scooters like driving around delivering pizza you could they didn't even have like in store shit you had to order it and like the dude would deliver it and this was like a luxury item but the pizza was still garbage and the pizzas were like way more expensive yeah. and they were fucking tiny they're like a, a literally a quarter that's, the size that's what of a it's pizza like, here uh, in the Philippines like yeah, there yeah. was a point while I was there, it was about two and a half weeks in, where I was just thoroughly sick of Filipino food, and I was like, I need pizza. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm having withdrawals. But you can't even get, like, yeah, a, a pizza. I'm a big yeah. pizza boy. So there was one day, it was, like, raining, and I ordered a pizza from somewhere nearby, and it was like... I ordered a large, and it was the size of an American medium, you know? Yeah. And, like, yeah. I ate the entire thing. It was, it was all right, <laughs> but the thing is, like... In the Philippines, because they don't really have regular New York style pizza, and they they kind of have like mm-hmm. two different variations. You've got Pizza Hut, which is everywhere over there, and yep. Pizza Hut yep. looks like a fancy restaurant there because it it costs mm-hmm. the same amount that it does here, but it's you know because of the conversion rates, like five American yeah, dollars yeah. is like fifteen, uh, like the equivalent of spending fifteen bucks in um mm-hmm. in, in the Philippines. So like pizza is treated like a gourmet thing. But then the only other category is, like, the actual gourmet pizzas, the ones that are, like, artisan crafted, you know, they've got, like, all these really interesting ingredients and stuff, and it's always, like, ten toppings, and, like, those, I love that kind of pizza, like, California Pizza Kitchen, you know, Mm -hmm. but it is fundamentally so different from pizza that I can't even really categorize it as pizza. When I was... When I was in, in Japan, yeah, like, I, I always associated, like, the, the pizza they had there were kind of like those, like, weird gourmet sweet shops yeah. where they, like, put all this bullshit fluff, and I'm like, I just want to eat a fucking sweet cake. Yeah. I don't need all this extra shit sticking out. It was, was kind of like that. It was one weird. time, One time in Poland, I ordered a pizza... And it was yeah like because because pizza is kind of a specialty item over there. It was a bit it was a bit on the expensive side like for pizza like considering even though everything's cheaper over there. Anyway, mm-hmm. point is he he the guy brought it. He he gave it to me. I tipped him. I just didn't give a fuck. I just tipped him like a convenient amount, which is twenty zlotties. I gave him twenty zlotties, which is like it's like seven or eight dollars. But like in over there, like because of the fucking economy or whatever, that was like a twenty dollar tip. And the guy gave the guy like looked at me. The guy like looked at me like he was weirded out. He was like a little like confused and weirded out by the fact that I gave him (laughs) this like fucking monster tip on this pizza. And I was just like, well, I I just American man. I just thought it was like a pretty fucking huge tip for a pizza delivery in itself. I guess it was. I don't know. I just was like, here, have some Zlotties, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking stinky piece of shit. While yeah, we're on the subject of pizzas and comparing them, that's part of why I like that pepperoni is universal. Because when I go to a new pizza place, I'm going to try their pepperoni just because that's, like, to me, the baseline. Like, you have to mm. – like, that's how I'm going to judge whether I'm coming back here. Then I'll get into your weird shit, you know. But, like, I got to know, can you do the basics? And if so, then here's, I'll come back for here's the thing about pizza. pizza. Menus with the kinky here's the thing about pizza is you you can you can eat. We know from Ulalilia that you can eat nothing but pizza, but still lose weight. And all you have to do is just eat uh, a yes. normal amount of pizza. You just gotta degrease your pizza. You just gotta oh, soak yeah. your pizza. <laughs> you just gotta soak your pizza with napkins, or soak up all the grease from it, and then you eat oh, it, and then yeah. and then you're a healthy boy. I, ca- I can't like. On the one hand, I'm imagining like, okay, pizza without grease, that's that sounds great, but you're using you're just gonna get napkin all over it. Like does well, it yeah, not come know. away tasting like napkin? You gotta pay to well, play, what I dog. Do is, is I turn it upside down and I squish it into the plate and then use get another plate usually. 
<laughs> what yeah, I do is I drop all my pizza into a fruit juicer and I squoze <laughs> out all the grease and then I take this Funnel, coagulated yes. destroyed lump that was once pizza and I shove <laughs> those in my mouth like fucking Timbits. Funnel, funnel I take the, the whole thing before I cut it into, into slices and I roll it up and I squeeze it like like over a pail of uh, over a pail to squeeze all the, all the Jesse, grease Jesse, I think out. you just like, described how Tostino's pizza to rolls are made. <laughs> Funnel the pizza what, grease off the pizza. did I just invent Tostino's pizza rolls? <laughs> yeah. Funnel off the pizza grease and cook your Brussels sprouts in it, and you will have a new favorite vegetable, my friends. Mwah, immaculate. The funnest part of Radcon 2 was eating that those pizza rolls and, yeah. and, and jerking around. Those are good. Just yeah. go yeah. and like fucking find oh, all the yeah. pizza trees, Munchie. burn down the pizza forest, and I was, fucking smoke the I was smoke. eating... I was eating those leftover pizza rolls for like two weeks after that. I fucking Ben, yeah, my I, body is I, now your communion, Ben. My body is now your <laughs> communion. Ben, do you remember those days when we were up late watching anime and I'd microwave some disgusting Tostino's pizza rolls and we'd just watch Adult Swim? I remember, I remember those days. I mostly remember eating hot pockets. Yeah, there were those two. Right. God, disgusting! Don't eat hot. Mm. Oh, uh, but, uh, c- closing statement. Um, um, thin mm-hmm. crust hard is really nice. It's like a cracker, and you can crunch into it, and it's really, it's really pleasant. <laughs> and um, all of you are aliens, and I'm going to eradicate you and save the human race. I don't, you know, I honestly don't think I've ever had thin crust from like Pizza Hut. So, Nate, what's uh, your favorite reserve. fucking food? Right. Okay. Let's let's wrap this up. So, okay, I think I, I would have to say. Uh, my favorite food, I'm definitely, uh, I food disgusts me in general, uh, so I only think about it as a tool to oh. live a better life, and, but, uh, you know, I, I, it, it matters to me how food tastes, because I'm a weak human being, so I would find that the, my favorite food is definitely, um, it, it is a very specific thing, but it's, it's not a store thing, it's this, it's this crock pot, right, it's just the life of the crock pot. It's yeah. uh, it's the fact that you can take a crock pot, throw in all this meat and vegetables, and you can you know put in everything you want in there, and you cook it up. And and this is the crucial step: you gotta spice it right. I do not understand spice, so I have yet to obtain the the correct way to make a fucking crock pot that isn't gross. But I'm working on it every day, and it's 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 the joy of the hunt of the perfect crock pot experience because I have tasted the perfect crock pot when I lived um. Uh, when I first moved to, to Cincinnati, uh, my uh, my roommate, who was like a Navy SEAL or something, he, uh, well, not a Navy SEAL, he was like in the Navy or something. Semper Fidelis. Semper Fidelis, dog. <laughs> he, uh, he he made crockpot stuff occasionally, and he would just be like, yeah, if you want some, you know, like I made a lot, so feel free to have some. This fucking dude was the goddamn wizard of the crockpot. And, uh, like, the thing is, he spent so little time making it, he just had the knowledge of how to do it correctly, which is exactly what cooking's all about, you know? It's about, once you understand you're efficient, you get your shit done, you eat right, you get your your nutrients in, it's delicious. And the stuff this guy made was out of this fucking world, and I'm on a quest to to replicate it here, but there you go. So there it is, crockpots. I love crockpots. I just want to say, as a final word on this topic... Uh, that all mm. food is bad and no one should eat it. It's all bad for right. you. Wait, we're not on the final word. Fit. You haven't even two Somebody... of us haven't even given our favorite foods yet, and what? you're one of them. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I meant my final word. I don't oh. care what anyone else's is. Okay. <laughs> Everyone, uh, don't eat food. It's bad. There's only four uh, food groups that matter. There's only four good foods, and those are uh, sushi, pussy, dick. Sorry. <laughs> don't fucking don't Bogart can co-opt my joke, you son of a bitch. <laughs> my fucking punchline that I'm building towards is gonna blow out anything that you can think to interrupt me. You know, I'm so sick. That's the number one problem with this podcast is I start a bit and one of you cock knobs interrupts me with with your own bit and you fucking ruin it That's every true. time. You guys, you don't deserve my bits, but I'm gonna keep powering through it. This is my fucking Kramer moment. I'm on stage right now at the Laugh Factory. I'm blowing up on the audience. I don't even care if it's funny anymore. You're all blacks. You're all a bunch of blacks and minorities, and I hate you. <laughs> we we should work on the interruption. That that is true. Uh, okay, well I, I don't know who who, who hasn't gone. Does anyone want to do Jesse more favorite was foods? Still going. <laughs> the point oh, that right. I was making. The only four good foods in the world are sushi, mm. glass bottle Pepsi, lemon lime Gatorade, and chicken and tea. <laughs> I have discovered. Yeah. I yeah. have discovered. Yeah. I'm glad chicken um, and tea is one food, by the way. That's the I, yeah. best part I, of the four. Food I have group. discovered cucumber lime Gatorade, what? and it, I think or cucumber something Gatorade. It is the most delicious, Weird, huh? refreshing. It's it sounds weird, right? But it's so fucking delicious. I highly recommend. Uh, wait, 
what is Wait it? Wait a minute. Uh, they serve Pepsi in glass bottles? Duh. Fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Cucumber Pepsi lime, Coke thirst quencher. Bottles. Highly recommend. Hmm. Go out and buy some right now, everybody. Oh, the fucking Mexicans who, who raised me, obviously, before I jumped mm-hmm. the border. They have <laughs> some, <right>. crazy, <laughs> some crazy concoctions, some, some, some crazy modern-day potions that they have since uh, <laughs> uh, stored in various Home Depots across the nation, across this glorious <laughs> nation. And if you go to a Home Depot, you will find their, their crazy nectar. And, and their, their, their wicked nectar. Is which, it called paint is thinner? Thus. That's good stuff. It, 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 it's called fucked up Coke, a.k.a. just Coca-Cola. <laughs> but it has real sugar in it. And oh, is it? Glass oh, 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 is it? It was it, right. Is it Mex- Mexican Coke? Yep, yep, Mexican this guy, Coke. This guy that I knew, this like 50-something, seven-foot-tall monster of a man, his name <laughs> his name was Nate. And he was like a fit, <laughs> hey, he, no, right. not not this guy. He was he was a fucking he was a, he was like a, a freelance he was a freelance physicist known in the industry. Holy I'm shit. not making this up as a dragon slayer. What because, the fuck? Yeah, what no, the fuck? because because like companies corporations would have like some like intractable science problem that they didn't know how to solve, Holy and they, that would be the dragon. And they would hire this guy to come in and fucking like do experiments and theorizing and theory crafting and stuff to fucking slay the dragon and fucking. That- that's, that's literally com- that's literally me from the future. That is yeah. me from the future. I guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's it's you and I after we merge into one being, <laughs> right? And I um, obtain dominance of, of, of that picture, sure. of course. Of it course. takes your name. Um, <laughs> anyway, he he swore. Point point is, he swore to me that Mexican Coke was the ultimate hangover cure. That was that's where that story was going. That's cool. All right. Mexican. Wait, how did you meet this guy? I just want to know how you met him. He he was he was a, he was one of the friends oh, of the people game. at Monkey House. Yeah, okay. What's the difference yeah. between Mexican Coke and American Coke? I don't know real because sugar. I never actually got to try any. But real he just Mexican Coke uses real sugar. It, it's just used with sweat and like ball sweat and like. M- uh, Munch is right though. There is there <laughs> is a difference in the recipe because they're like you're not legally even allowed. To, or, I don't know. There's some difference, but yeah, they uh, there's there's a difference. Here's a funny little story that will make you laugh every time. Um, you know how I'm I'm right I'm right next to the water. In fact, I'm underwater right now using my sick underwater mic. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know how there's like there's like food in the ocean, which is fucked up. Number one, yeah, like like, like plankton yeah, that's and fucked shit, up, dude. Like yeah, plankton, that, yeah. That's like eat up. it, that's... eat it with your br- eat it with your grill. I, your see, grill. I'm imagining like Bailing. like Taco Bell bags, you know, like trash, you know, yeah. that kind. That, that's that's straight up silly. That is straight right. up okay. silly. Anyway, one time uh, I, I I would never really dabbled in the dark arts, aka seafood. But once uh, <laughs> I, 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 I once I once went to the city of Denver. Um, the, the the weed capital of the universe, where right, all the right. where all the sick elamaos get their good shit. <laughs> I once went there and there was a bubba gump shrimp, and I reluctantly tried a shrimp, and and I thought it was really nice, and now I really like shrimp. And and the moral of the story is, cool. I had to go to a mountain to to learn the secrets of 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 the ocean. And that's that's just going to show you that food um bridges cultures. And if food. you go and if you go eat a Muslim man's brain, you may learn his <laughs> actual secrets. Food works. <laughs> food works in mysterious <laughs> ways. Yeah. That's that's a beautiful story, Munch. You gotta miss the fucking ocean. I hate being this piece of shit Midwest the ocean's state. Ocean's great, guys. Move to San Diego. All the other places are gay. I'd like to move somewhere to a coast. I I honestly hate living here. I hate these fucking mountains. I hate this shit. Where's the fucking sea? I miss the smell. Okay, anyway, moving on. Uh, so, uh, do Digi, I guess you're the last one. Yeah. Right, right. I'm currently wondering if if Jesse is still here or if he screamed chicken and tea so loud that he exploded. <laughs> Um, I think, I think sounds like dead. the explosion. Yeah, I have like he died. been reborn. I am chicken and tea. <laughs> Devour no, me! I like this guy. <laughs> Devour my flesh and drinketh of my flesh. I am chicken and tea. It's what I'm made of. It's made of me. Ever- <laughs> I, I need our audience to appreciate just how often the phrase chicken and tea was uttered in the, the Digi Ben and DeVu household because Ben uh, DeVu legitimately ate like mostly chicken and drank mostly tea as as did Ben much of the time. I so. was always frying chicken and I was always buying uh, yeah. Wawa tea. So we'd and all just like meet up in the kitchen the sometimes chicken. and we'd all just stand there and just stare at each other and go chicken and Oh yeah, the, the the Doritos, the Doritos chicken that just didn't just didn't work. It just didn't oh, yeah, pan out. Right. <laughs> I'm like just picturing it, like it two guys work. in a it dark, could, it, it, like an empty room, to work? sitting at a table with like a with a single light <laughs> hanging over it, like in a like a spy movie, like an interrogation room, just sitting across a table, the, staring the Dor- into each other's bloodshot eyes, just back and forth. Chicken and tea, chicken and tea. <laughs> 
chicken. I'm gay. Tea. I'm gay. Chicken and tea. Like the uh, video no, to, to for work, uh, to work. Like the video for DNA by Kendrick Lamar. I don't know if you've seen that video, but it's exactly what you're describing. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> The Doritos chicken would work if you fried it and then you dusted it with the powder. It doesn't work when the powder's on it before you fry it. It just yeah, doesn't, okay. it doesn't survive. It doesn't sense. survive the, 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 the frying For what should there. be obvious mm-hmm. reasons. <laughs> yeah. Live um, and learn. Well, anyway, yeah, my favorite foods. Uh, uh, a broad, broad category favorites would be macaroni and cheese, all kinds, and uh, <laughs> Philly cheese steak. Everywhere I go, mm, I try to mm, like, good stuff. Everywhere that has a Philly cheesesteak, I gotta try it. And like eighty percent of them are disappointing, but the Yo, few dude. that are good are great. You you were just in Philly. How was the cheesesteak there? I didn't uh didn't actually end up eating cheesesteak there, which I fully intended to. But it turns mm-hmm. out the place that we were at was like deep in the heart of Chinatown, like okay. <laughs> which is massive in Philly. Like all we mm-hmm. like we 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 walked several blocks in all directions, and it was all Chinatown. So we ate at a ramen place. We ate at a ramen place that that was Naruto themed. Everything yeah. in there was Naruto related. They literally served our checks in volumes of Naruto. That Japanese is fucking unbelievable. Go, I, I tweeted a, a whole bunch <laughs> I know, of pictures I, I, and stuff. I, I saw it. the yeah. tweets. Is that where you oh, ran yeah, into Sean? Sick. That that seems like a yeah, likely right spot where he would be hanging out. The Naruto <laughs> ramen place. Dude, funny story about that. I was in Philly maybe like two summers ago, uh-huh. and I like I had never eaten a Philly cheesesteak, so I tried to order one, and the waitress is like, "Dude, I, I live here. It's, it's like a meme. It's like a forced meme." Yeah, don't, it is a bit of a meme. It is it. a meme. That's that's the thing. I don't think it's any better there than it is anywhere else. Although the place with the best Philly cheesesteak in my city is a place literally called Philadelphia. So. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Yeah, I I'd, yeah. I'd love to try them there. I mean, I'm sure it's just as like much variety. Like, there's probably some places that are good and some places that suck, just like anywhere else. But uh, but yeah, Philly cheesesteaks are generally great. But my number one favorite specific food in the entire world is the Kona Grill barbecue chicken flatbread pizza. You have to go there. I this pizza, this fucking thing, because the only place I've ever been to Kona I Grill, that. it's right next to the Baltimore Convention Center. Um, where BronyCon and Otakon were, and like a couple years back at I think BronyCon, I I was I was just getting I was drinking at Kona Grill because it's also a bar, and I ordered this flatbread because it was like uh, there was like a happy hour. It's only seven dollars for like what would be it's like half price. So we I ordered it and it was the best thing I'd ever tasted in my life. And I was like, holy shit, this is so magical. How could this be? And like afterwards, I started ordering flatbreads at different restaurants. None of them even came close. I was like, what is it about this Kona Grill one? And finally, a year later, I go back. I go back to Kona Grill and I order it. And I legitimately cried when I ate it. It was so good. <laughs> well, you know. Yes. All the memories. You know what? You know, I, I just want to say. If you want okay, to go okay, okay, back okay. to Kona Grill. And, and, oh boy, and, and here we experience go. that again. <laughs> here we go. All you have to do is <laughs> pledge to the greatest podcast on earth, the Pony Cast. If we raise a thousand dollars per oh, episode, yeah. we'll go back to BrineyCon and we'll all have Kona nah. Grill forever. Wait, what, we'll do what, it. That? Pledge to the Pony Cast, the best podcast of all time. How is that going to get me to Baltimore? It'll get you and Hippo there. Uh, well, well, I mean, we'll you can come on your own dime, and you can be there with us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, now it comes my business executive to say, do not associate with the Pony Cast. This is the PCP podcast. <laughs> Fuck those guys. Those guys are trash. Don't associate them with. They'll rape you. They're bad people. <laughs> Team. Hey, with that kind of attitude, you're gonna walk the plank, Nate. Well, <laughs> Co- there are Kona grills in other cities. Um, That's a lie. Other than Baltimore, him. but. <laughs> but yeah, I've had. I even. I. I talked up this thing so much that people. Like, several people at different conventions, like, went there and sent me pictures of them eating the pizza, and they all said that mm. they completely agreed with me that it was a magical experience, so. You know, dude, I, I remember, uh, yeah, we were all having dinner there. It was, like, you, me, a bunch of these guys. I know, like, Jeff Bridges was there, I think, or not yeah. Jeff Bridges, fucking uh, Birch. that Birch. dude. Birch, <laughs> yeah, Birches. And I just, I, I'm just throwing out a hypothesis here. I remember we had such a good time there. Perhaps that sort of instilled that particular flatbread pizza I, chicken thing I think it was, with all the good vibes. I mean, the, the funny thing about you saying that, Nate, is that when I mm-hmm. went there the second time, I was upset 
because nobody would go with me because everyone uh, I uh, it was that like I think Otakon and everyone I know is poor like no one could mm. afford to eat Kona <laughs> Grill or was organized to do it so I went alone and it was like a long ass wait like I was waiting forever and I was just like oh my god this thing is this really gonna be worth it like have I have I <laughs> memed myself and then I ate it and it was so good I actually cried and then I went back the next day and ate it again <laughs> <laughs> uh you know, I, I have one thing. I have I have a, a confession to make, guys. There is one soda that just appeals to me on such a deep level that I have no choice but to enjoy it. All right, I'm going to post a, a picture in the chat here. Here you go. There you go. 100% natural La berry cuck. sparkling water. La <laughs> Cuck. La <laughs> Cuck is my favorite drink in the fucking world. It's just, it appeals to me on so many levels. Okay, there you go. Is that real? Um, <laughs> well, I, I have an actual Thank thing to say. Thank you so much, Nate. I'm I, laughing I out loud wanna say, so I, I, I want to say the thing, I was gonna, the I thing was about, gonna, the thing about LaCroix. Ben, God damn it, Nate! Ben was going to say something. But it's relevant to this image. Okay, then say it first. Okay. Um, well, this this LeCuck, a.k.a. LaCroix, um, the, the, thing, <laughs> the thing about that is... I, it smells. It smells like like a sweet, delicious thing, but it's not sweetened. And I just I try as I might, I can't get into unsweetened soda. Wait a minute. Soda. Are you telling me this is a drink? This is like a photoshopped image. It's not actually yeah. called La Cuck. Yeah. yeah, the drink oh, is. Oh, what the? It's that's LaCroix. a terrible joke. You yeah, got a meme, Nate. You and fell for a shit. meme. I Nate, got memed. God Nate, damn it. At, at our at our cousin Alex's wedding, which was yeah. like the most miserable time of my life. Um, mm -hmm. I went to the bar and I looked. For, I was just looking for soda. And mm -hmm. I, the only soda they had was LaCroix. And I took a sip and I was like, oh, it's not sweet. I can't deal with it. So I grabbed some grenadine from the bar and just poured, <laughs> and, and poured it into my LaCroix to try and sweeten it. And some fucking second cousin or aunt I've never met before was like, huh, you spike in your drink? And I was like, no, just, just putting grenadine in my, in my LaCroix. And they were like, oh. And that wasn't fun. So they left me alone. <laughs> they were weird. I would never talk to you ever again. LaCroix is disgusting. <laughs> they committed a serious faux pas that day and they'll never forget. Yeah. All right. Here's a thing that I can't believe none of us have really brought up yet, mm -hmm. uh, which is dessert. Um, mm. And oh, I have a very specific that. dessert that is always the best thing after any meal. It's 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 literally perfect. It's okay. it's one scoop, one big scoop of vanilla ice cream and a hot fudge brownie. A nice I have that big, too. Mm -hmm. with, sure. It's That's so a good one. That's a perfect. Classic. It's it's perfect. like it's like God and the devil. Like the, the god is is, the, is the vanilla ice cream and the devil's like you know skin the, the thick skin leathery skin of the of the devil is the fudge brownie it's delicious the so, brownie the brownie is classic however in my opinion the best thing ever to eat with ice cream is my favorite pie which is strawberry rhubarb pie because pie. the strawberry rhubarb cooks give us the sweet like the two like the slightly too sweet and mellow strawberries with like the tartness the tartness of the rhubarb combine to fill this the strawberry rhubarb pie with this red tangy goo <clears throat> that is just the most succulent thing our, on, on that sweet vanilla ice cream. I really want to try rhubarb because I've, I've, I've seen people like eat it. And, it's and good. It, and you, gotta, like, you gotta come to our, our neck of the woods one day because our mom grows rhubarb in our garden and then she makes these giant ass strawberry rhubarb pies and we get ice cream. Oh, it's, it's the it's best. Not, it's not a popular pie and I think it's just because people are scared of rhubarb because it just yeah, looks like yeah. celery. But it is in fact, if you cook it right, it is just wonderful. It's true. It's true shit. Yeah. I really want to try rhubarb. It, 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 I've seen it on loads of cooking shows that like people making desserts. So, like, oh, it's going to be a rhubarb uh, 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 souffle or whatever I, they do. Oh, I was trying to find rhubarb for the longest time because it was out of season. And hmm. um, I, I found some in a store, and I brought it home, and I made a strawberry rhubarb pie. It came out okay. And then I couldn't. I wanted to make another one, and I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I, I was in Atlanta um, for a while visiting Jackie. And, and, and while I was gone, Davu found rhubarb. <laughs> and bought some for me, which was very nice. Aww. Yeah, he was like, hey, I picked up some, and he sent me like a picture of him next to the rhubarb, giving me like the shit-eating grin. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. So he, he brought some rhubarb home for me, and I took that, and I took a, um, I took a bag of frozen um, um, strawberries and blueberries. Cause, so I just I put blueberries in this one, and I cooked it with that. So now, officially, if you make a strawberry rhubarb pie, but you put blueberries in it, that is now officially the Davoobarb pie. So, yeah! so uh, yeah! all right. Hashtag yeah! hashtag hashtag Davoobarb. Uh, tweet tweet pictures at TP Crastinators of you making your homemade Davoobarb pie, please. <laughs> Fuck making art. Let's make food. We're all gonna have food, <laughs> food named after is us. We art. used to make our own restaurant. The PC the PCP Geron. 
It is. It'll be really nice. <laughs> Any, we, 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 every it. food, all the food has PCP as, in it. That's as the thing. Antoine That's the thing. Ego from Ratatouille says, like, not not anyone can become a great artist, but a great artist can come from anywhere. And watch Ratatouille. It's a good film. It is a good film. You're a rat. Anybody else Thanks. want to comment on <laughs> dessert? Or we, I don't like dessert. Uh, no, no, so. no, no, no. Guys, Let's guys, do desserts the, real quick. The, the best... Okay, f- mm-hmm. okay two, two things. Number one, if you've ever wanted to be raped, go to Mexico. But also, okay. if you've ever wanted to have the most succulent <laughs> thing ever inserted into your, mind, uh, into your mouth unconsensually, also right. go to Mexico. Because I was in Tijuana Those once. Those two sound like the same thing to me. Those sound like the same thing. Funny story. Mm-hmm. But, but they have like they have fried ice cream there. They have yeah, fried yeah. ice cream where it's like it's like a hard shell, and then when you eat it, it's like there's ice cream in the middle. It's fucked up. It's not real. It's illegal. And in fact, I think it might be the most scary Wait. thing I've ever, my greatest <laughs> scary I've ever had. They have those. Isn't that a flambe? Here. There, there's um, there's a couple combinations. What, what is that called? What what is that called when fried you get a blowtorch? Cr- yeah, fried that's, ice cream. That's flambe, but fried ice cream is different. Fried ice cream is okay. like fried in like in like a in like a bread shell yeah. kind of mm-hmm. thing. Mm. But but the, the the greatest scary effect that was a lie. My greatest scary is in fact flan because I get so scared when I eat it because I know that nothing else will be better. So you get some flan <laughs> and flan's my yeah. favorite and it's, and it's all it's all it's all like jelly and, I, and it makes me it makes me laugh every single time. I just look at it and I can't help but XD. It's just so fucking funny. Hey, flan, you make you make you got a good flan going. You got tonight's meal and entertainment. Exactly. <laughs> it's oh, flan's. Oh really nice I, I like to watch it dance and, and that's the only thing that can get me aroused oh, also also um, <laughs> also uh, another great ice cream thing is uh, literal honeycomb pieces with dark chocolate and, and ice cream what the yes. fuck oh man that's deep like that's if you deep. get literal honeycomb with I, vanilla ice cream and dark chocolate up. sprinkles I, that, sounds, that sounds really amazing but I don't know because I've never eaten actual honeycomb honeycomb yeah. is delicious I've had it I've, sounds it's great. fucking it's great. awesome speaking of ice cream that reminds me of something traumatic that happened to me when I was a kid. When I was in first grade, mm-hmm. my, my, my hot, beautiful teacher took me out to get a banana split at Dairy Queen, and oh she didn't boy. even molest I know what that me. Means. She didn't even have the courtesy <laughs> uh. to molest me. Why take me out on a fucking on a banana split date if you're not gonna it's have fun. a banana that, split wait, date? Why, you know what was, I mean? Is that why it was traumatic? Because you weren't molested? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you, dog. Dude, it, 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 it's, it's an always sunny up. bit, but it actually happened to me, so it's still it, this is a real <laughs> thing. I, I relate very strongly to that episode. Uh, uh, here, let me say my favorite real quick. This is very simple. Uh, there's this particular type of um, friendlies ice cream, I think, just called forbidden chocolate, and it is like the deepest darkest possible chocolate flavor and uh, just a scoop of that is just the most delicious fucking thing Nate, I remember that on our family outings as youths that when yep. we went out for ice cream, I know you would always get a black mm-hmm. raspberry ice cream. Was it black raspberry or black? Yeah, it black was, raspberry it, with, with peanut butter cups. That's correct. And I stand by that as a fantastic combination. But, yeah, uh, it's good shit. I, I, I just don't eat ice cream a lot at all anymore. So, you know, but I, if, you, if you like ice cream, black raspberry and peanut butter cups is great. So go ahead and try it. You piece of shit, idiot! No, it's, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> like what I retard. what I consider a, a like a dessert, like literally the glass of orange juice I mentioned before is my dessert, and it's fucking great. It's yeah. Great. If you can, if you can trick your brain, or not train, but like fix your brain into being like this glass of orange juice is like, oh my god, this oh level of God. sweetness. It's uh, just, that's just where you want to be. Yeah, yeah. You reminded me of 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 two things that I'm not sure people will agree on. Uh, orange chocolate is great, and also salted chocolate. Yeah, I those agree are both on both good. those. Both good. Yeah. I agree on both counts. Good. Do, you ever, do you ever have hot the, pepper the, chocolate? They're, they're the, the best to have. Wait, what, hot pepper? Yeah, I've had chili. I've had. I've heard of that. I haven't actually eaten it. It's chocolate okay. with chili powder. My mom likes it I've a heard lot. Of, I've heard of like chocolate with garlic in it. I'm, I'm not sure about that. Okay, that's weird, too far. Weird. Have you guys had white chocolate? I used to like it when I was a little kid. No, that, that would be racist. That would be racist. I don't eat yeah, that shit. Sorry. Yeah, You know okay. what? Yeah, I, I, I do I love Hershey's love, like, cookies and cream, babes, though. AKA this the is white that chocolate. <laughs> Are we still talking about food? This has been going on for a couple hours, guys. I mean, yeah, I was let's, trying to maybe steer we our conversation our towards something more here. fun, like child no. molestation. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we, ha- we haven't even gone off topic. Holy shit. That's true. Well, that's because food is the greatest topic, and yeah. I knew it would be. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I could go for like another like. When two are we hours. gonna do the, the? When are we gonna do the who got molested the most cast? That's the one that I've been preparing <laughs> all this time for. I've had uh, all my food. notes for years. 
Food we all like, like we all I'm imagining like we all come to this to sit down with the PCP like we've all like we're all ready to hear our, our hot childhood molestation stories and we all sit down like we're playing poker and we're all like eyeing each other <laughs> we're all eyeing each other up and then so, someone someone shoots the gun someone shoots the gun to signal that we begin and we all throw our hands down and we all got nothing. <laughs> and we're all like, oh, and then, and then, and then, big disappointment. And then we cry for hours. We cry for this hours over the, the fact that we this haven't is, been molested. This is yep. where I yep. find out that my teacher molested all of you and just <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with me? I thought I was her favorite. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dog. Yeah, well, food, uh, okay. Foodcast is the only podcast that I was actually excited about enough to sign up for at the very beginning. Like, the second yep, the Google yep. Doc went up, I was like, <laughs> boom, food. First guy there. No one else is um, intruding on this. Food, well, I mean, food is just incredible. Everything about it is great, and there's literally no negative whatsoever. And the fact is, we've only barely scratched the surface of discussion of food I would like to have. But thankfully, if you, if you mm-hmm. too would like to hear much more yes. food discussion, go subscribe to Munchy Shatsky and listen mm-hmm. to and, our and, podcast. And, and, and all together now, you can watch the best show in the universe. Stay the bird as if it was easy. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, there actually is a relevant question here. As I as I'm looking at our as our hashtag Ask PCP questions, make sure you do that shit. You don't even have to add us anymore. Just hashtag Ask PCP. So let's uh, let's transition over here. Here's our dude uh, at Doctor Butts asking, "What's your go-to meal that you cook? Do you got?" And he's like, "He's like, you guys Whoa. do cook your own Did meals, right?" Did they know right? this was a food cast, or is that nah, just nah? A- this guy didn't know. This guy had no idea. Unless Doctor mm. Butts is some sort of time wizard. Uh, the the thing that I cook all the time mm-hmm. is Doctor the time wizard is 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 <laughs> uh fucking something with pasta. I don't know. I An don't ascended proctologist. The last time yeah. I cooked was like literally a month and a half ago when me and Munchie made ramen for the Stealing Your Dad's podcast. Yeah, I don't That's think I cooked cooking. anything. <laughs> that that is cooking. <laughs> yeah, nah, we, well, uh, you, you boil the water, you it. pour the powder. There you go. Wait. Yeah. I, I made a loaf of bread today. I made two little loaves of bread today, just because we didn't have any bread. You that's awesome. Bread? So that's holy shit. I don't make I don't make it often, but yeah. you can make bread. Homemade yeah. bread is the homemade shit. Homemade bread rules. Oh, you guys, yeah. you guys should look into uh, homemade bread. Yeah, it's fucking great. Um, uh, oh. I make one thing all the fucking time, and it's called a bread basket, and it's just a piece. It's it's this goofy little like thing I learned at Boy Scout camp a million years ago, which is just a piece of bread. And you like uh, you put like olive oil on it, and you put it. And you 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 actually like cut out the center of the piece of bread, and you crack an egg, and you put it into oh the center God. hole, and you just fry that, and then you flip it over, you fry it again, you make sure that that yolk stays fucking runny, so as to not ruin it. Oh God, my fucking lucky star's falling everywhere, and um, uh, and then you just eat it, and it's delicious. It's the best. I used I used to make like, better. I used to make I used it's to make great. egg sandwiches for myself all the time because they're super cheap and easy and delicious. Put a little yeah. tomato yeah. on there. And you're all good. Oh. But since but since I discovered Digi's deep fryer, ever since then yeah. I just I fried chicken and just homemade yeah. fried chicken is what I've is what I've done with my life. That reminds me, there there were two, uh, there's two things that I that I will I don't know if you cook call it cooking or not. I prepare mm-hmm. two dishes that I that I used to eat all the time that I was kind of proud of. One is a, a, is just ramen, but ramen with all kinds of extra shit in there, where you just like boil a bunch of onions and stuff in the pot like up until adding the ramen and then uh and then like add in sriracha and all this like every fucking spice you can find in the cabinet just make a chaos Dude, ramen you know uh, and you know meat. who would be Go all about meat. you know who'd be all about that shit i mean this is a fucking gladiolus from final fantasy 15 there is legitimately a plot line where the the real ramen uh you know brand top ramen yeah. has like this plot line where gladiolus is like just going on about how like fucking this guy's like the biggest most jacked dude in the fucking world and he's talking about how much he loves fucking <laughs> top ramen and like making these piece of shit recipes where you just like oh it's the ultimate flavor experience you can add a bunch of extra shit and it's fucking yeah. fantastic i'm just saying like it's pretty fun. i just want to put it's you real. guys next to each other i want to put you guys next to each other and be like these guys both eat the same shit. Yeah. What is happening here? What's <laughs> what's the difference here? Well, yeah, I mean, I don't eat it all the time or anything. But the other thing that I that yeah, I enjoy making is uh, egg salad sandwiches. Where you make your own egg salad. Like, mm-hmm. just take a cup, hard boil a couple of eggs, 
and then throw in like a shitload of mayonnaise and mustard and hot sauce and pepper and salt and anything else you feel like having in your egg salad and then just grind that shit up and it can make a couple sandwiches out of it and it's fucking delicious. But get it I... get it on like giant bread. Get like a big crazy bread with like a thousand grains bigger in... than a continent piece yeah. of bread. <laughs> um uh here is the second the the second munchy delectable called Father Guts cuz I just love dad so much. <laughs> Here's what you do. Hmm. You, you, you you crack literally 12 eggs. That's how much I eat normally. I eat That's 12 like eggs. That's like Gaston-level eggs. Okay. Yeah. And and then and then you get a huge fucking pan. Then, you, like, like, like you make scrambled eggs like normal. Then you put in the following. Pepper jack cheese, because I fucking love pepper jack cheese. Then you, then you put in um, h- honey ham, and you also put in, like, little bacon bits. And uh, then, then you, you scramble all of that, and then uh, you just drown it in fucking um, pep, like, 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 like table pepper and like normal, like actual, like big boy, like actual, like real man pepper. And uh, it's pretty good. Sick. And, and it resembles guts that I would eat from a father. <laughs> By the way, update, food update, everyone. I have transitioned to eating a giant fucking piece of broccoli and raspberries. Excellent. I'm and living yeah, like so a king. I, yeah, good. Excellent. I, I think we we might probably be done for for the food. So shall we go on to questions? Well, we're already on the questions. questions. <laughs> we are literally in the questions right now. Sorry, I think I zoned you out. You idiot! How, You're how dead real to me. The uh, question was, well, what do we cook? So <laughs> oh, fucking stupid question. Being topic relevant. That's confusing. It is confusing. <laughs> um. Okay, well, here's here's a question that's actually, like, the worst question ever, but, like, maybe we could just say something that's useful. This guy, this, uh, this piece of shit idiot at Solely Claw asks, uh, <laughs> don't know if this was talked about in the past, but what's the origin of the PCP? You dumb Are piece you of shit, dude. He's d- d- stupid. <laughs> I feel like that's been talked about more times than so anything else. So many times. Yeah. Okay, maybe this guy's a new guy. Let's just, let's just there's crack. there's, nothing, there's, there's nothing we like to talk about more than ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, Here's the story right. of the PCP. I wanted some clowns to entertain me and juggle. <laughs> and so I thought really hard. And, and then they started to materialize. You know the ones, the, the, the wicked jesters. They started to show up and, 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 and do their sacred jigs and, and, their, and their cursed juggles. And oh, how I, oh, how I laugh. Oh, how I LOL every was, time I summon I sh- I them for like, their powers. I feel like we should write a... a uh, uh, um, a The Saga Begins-esque history of yeah, PCP song, yeah. and then just have that we out there. We should do a lecture That's on a great idea. PCP University on the PCP. Love you know, they're, they're, they're just go Digis. in a fandom far away. Some <laughs> ponies were analyzing Digis. shit. I don't know. Digi's, unre- Digi's unreleased uh, footwear uh, lecture was almost right, a right. history of the PCP. It yeah, it was. was it was. Like that. Yeah, I just I want to see it. I want to give credit, by the way. It's it's unwatchable because the fucking audio was fucked up. Oh, Um, there's a oh 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 oh, no, it's not. uh, Yeah, I found it. I have it. I have footage of your lecture with pretty decent audio. Like your audio is good, but my audio is dog shit. No, no, your audio is fine in the footage I have. Really? The only I'd have to the hear only it, problem the one with I... the footage that I have is that it's a close up on you and you don't see us in the audience, but the audio's fine. Huh. Cuz oh, when I listened news. to it it was like the audience's mic was on but not mine. So like you you can hear me, but I'm like way in the distance and I sound shitty and uh and everybody in the audience sounds great. <laughs> so yeah, some some find the one. I still don't know if it'll ever see the light of day though because the lecture itself is terrible. Yeah. It was done at like 4 <laughs> well, in the morning. It, None of us wanted more to be than, there. It's like 7 in the morning and I'm I'm drunk. Uh Everyone else is tired because either they've been up all night or they had yeah. to be woken up for the lecture. So, like, no yeah, one is yeah. interested in doing the it lecture, at this time. The lecture was about <laughs> Wait, me, I wanted to do it again. and I was, like, the least invested of anyone there. <laughs> no one was invested at all. I, I wish we could that, do it again that and lecture do it better, was, you know? That lecture was too long and well, rambly, and you're, the fact that you were drunk really showed through a yeah. lot. <laughs> also, I'm shirtless the entire time, and I you think... You knocking yeah, down yeah. the board, doing the exact same things over and over again yeah. that we told you not to do because it would knock down the board, and you kept, you persistently did it for the entire duration. Just, yeah. if, if you want to tell the people the story of Endless Jess, just make the Endless Jess analysis video that you've been saying you were going to make 
for well, I, four I wasn't years sure. to finally make me have some success I've in been this meager to do... <laughs> farce of a life that I've been scraping by in. I've been meaning to do it, but you kept, over the last six months, you kept insisting that you wanted to leave the internet and not draw more attention to yourself. So I was not sure if I should do it anymore. Well, that's also true, but the impetus is on you to find a compromise between my <laughs> two you? wildly yeah. contrasting opinions it, on you, the subject of my you own gotta career. Know how you got to know how about you make an analysis about a mysterious guy that you won't name, but you say <laughs> yes. it, it, no, we know it's just you know I'm not sure we know enough about the mysterious rhinoceros, rhinoceros to actually make a full <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> he's just too mysterious. Um, well, okay, so but but do, seriously, do I, the if analysis you go through... of Endlet G. Finally, the people can see, What's... and it's just me in a Donatello <laughs> yeah. mask. What's I'm I'm going to the thing. It's Procrastopedia at dot or what? What's the one? I don't fucking know. dot like the, the there's a wiki. A, okay, here we go. Wiki. Yeah, it shouldn't it be a wiki? Procrastopedia dot it's, it, well, it's it's like a guy's personal thing. It's not yeah. actually a wiki. Yeah. If you go to procrastopedia dot we'll put a link in the description dot org. That's like some you can at least read up to get the basics there. But just like if you just watch from the start, you're gonna yeah. know like ninety percent of the shit. I'm so sure we've had like go. podcasts just dedicated Look, to telling the, the origin bottom story. line. Is yeah. that it's all thanks to me. I'm the reason that all of these people are friends. <laughs> they all got together because I am great. So everyone who much much fucking comments that I suck on every episode, you're fucking welcome for this Those... podcast existing. <laughs> Those people have mostly gone away. Mostly people love you now. Yeah, I mean, it seems like every episode is Jesse was right, the comment section. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, do we okay. have another question? Yeah, let's see. What do we got? Okay, here is a, here's a fun one for you folks at home. At Muhammad underscore H, uh, if you were a female, what boob size do you want to have, and how much would you actually show? Uh, I've thought about if, that a lot. I have thought that If, this, I, if I was a, tough a female, one. I would immediately kill myself. <laughs> well, of course. I... <laughs> Mm, I've always. I think I'd, okay. I think I'd be a modest lady. The mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. I've thought about it is that I like girls with like smaller to moderate sized tits. Like I mm -hmm. like smaller tits, so I would rather have bigger tits so that like I could attract those girls. Like, because I'm assuming I'm a lesbian. If I'm a if I'm a uh, woman. of course. I so. Guess. <laughs> Whatever you want. I, look, I think about this literally every day of my life. I have no doubt. What no I would doubt. do if I was a lesbian. So my, my ideal is <laughs> I've got big boobs so other girls think I'm hot. And they won't, like, girls with smaller boobs probably don't think there is, they, they probably have, you know, aren't as confident about their attractiveness. So they is see that, me is and they're real like, life? I'm not sure that works in I'm real life. I'm the hot but... one. And I'm like, no, I think you're the hot one. Uh, and, you know. If I that's was kinda, a girl. That's kind of romantic, I... Digi. I like it. I yeah. guess so. If I was a girl, I would go trans and then be a man again, and then <laughs> yeah! that's it. But how big would your boobs be? I would be? circumvent. I would still have boobs, and they would be gigantic. <laughs> like, like dragging it down on the floor. Like, I would trip over my own nips constantly. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm sorry. Can we just skip ahead to this other question? Because this is fucking gold. Oh, all right. Oh, okay, okay, no. I'm sorry. I'll come back to that. I'll, I'll get to it after you finish. Munchie, how big would your tits be, you piece um, of shit? My tits would be not... They, they, they wouldn't be real and... um. You know, I wouldn't like it. So uh, the answer would be uh, if I if I uh, preferably really big, so it would hurt even more when I cut them off without <laughs> surgery. <laughs> like an Amazon warrior. Right. Yeah. Well. For that's me, really I, I know I talk a lot, you know, about hashtag killing all women. You know, that's that's yeah. me. I started that hashtag. That was all me. Um, yeah. But I actually think I actually have some empathy for chicks with tits because I, I think I might be embarrassed about it if people were looking at them too much. And uh, I, I, I know that I would definitely be modest. I would definitely be modest about about I, I don't know what size they'd be because that's a retarded question. What am I going to fucking fan fiction about my own fictional fake female tits? Yes. I don't fucking know. That's what I... I I've 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 written so many stories about lesbians where I'm just projecting myself into one of them. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, probably small. I don't. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I'd be modest too. I'm. Uh, I, you know, I'm. I'm the Rainbow point. Dash person. So you know, flat DTF. <laughs> that's me. What pony are we, guys? What pony are we? Oh, I'm definitely. <laughs> uh, you know, gay. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's all of them. Uh, let's just move on to the next question. Uh, okay, this is a fantastic one. Okay, at Yukari K4Gold asks simply, do you tolerate children? 
No. <laughs> Never. Under not no, a uh, under no day circumstances. Of my fucking life. No. They're unacceptable not, always. They are an abomination. There's literally put them in a concentration children that you much. Would ever like I'm not entire life. <laughs> I'm not around children that much, but there's there's definitely a, a, an age range which is always bullshit yeah. and then there's an age range beyond which they're okay. Mm-hmm. So as long as they're okay, I'm okay with them. Mm-hmm. But if they're, like, yelling and screaming and they don't know how to not do that, then I will kill them. Everybody <laughs> under 25 should be in jail. <laughs> I agree. I, I, no, I, I, I advocate... Well, that's what we have school for. <laughs> that's there not even inaccurate. That's completely true. Um, I, uh, I, yeah, I advocate for the concentration camp solution for children. They should be, you know, brave new world. That's what we should do. I think I get along with kids a lot better than most people seem to. Uh, everyone well, that's I know because you're a pedophile, so you know. Well, everyone I know is always like, yeah, you have Oh to. my God, kids are kids are just so terrible. They're so obnoxious and they're so this shit. And I'll never have kids. And I'm like, I, I think it's just because I see myself as vastly more powerful than them. That like nothing they can do can <laughs> bother me because I think this is just the, the 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 screams of a child. You know, you're just some kid. Well, they like right, right. Well, that's like, why I, I said to, like I if, if you can them. talk to them and they can talk back, if if they can like understand words and they'll be like, uh, well, what does this mean? You know, I would humor that for a bit. I I think I could talk to a young child that can speak, but like a like a screaming. Baby. That, I no. mean, you gotta. I, you, I think of it in terms of like. Oftentimes, I'm thinking of this in terms of like, would I would I want kids of my own, right? Because like, when you see a terrible child in public, you always think, oh mm-hmm. god, kids are awful. But it's not kids. It's just that kid and his shitty parents, you know. But like, yeah, when yeah. you meet kids who are great, you're like, oh, right, kids can be great. It's a matter of like what kid it is and how they're being raised you know and it's like there are no if, good kids. if i know what i'm doing to at least some extent maybe i can manage to have a kid who comes out cool you know well i mean if, it's still if going anything, to ruin my name... life no matter what i know that like <laughs> you know if anything codename kids next door has taught me is that <laughs> we must destroy them all <laughs> they will kill us. they're coming for us dude <laughs> they have the technology <laughs> Uh, my yeah, uh, Vincent and Charlotte will be the perfect children. It will be you know uh, you know twins. Uh, it's it's they're they're gonna be raised properly. They're gonna be good boys and girl. Uh, you really they'll, named they'll your son behave. after Ben Saint's comic? I've I, I fucking <laughs> Ben probably named his character after my potential son because I've I've liked that name for a fucking I didn't even, fifteen I didn't years. Know. I didn't know about that until you. I, it's been like 20 years I've been talking like about much that. Much later, and then I remembered vaguely. I was like, oh yeah, you did say you like that name. Well, well, I, suck I, it, nerd. I don't, I don't have a fucking copyright on the name, so I don't oh, like. No. Has it actually been change. 20 years? You've been saying it. You've been, I mean, yeah, you've been fu- thinking about having kids since you were six. Final Fantasy <laughs> VII. Final Fantasy VII came out in 1997, which is when I played the game, and it's been 20 years since then. And ever since then, I liked the name Vincent and thought I'd name my son after him. Uh, so there you go. When I was a teenager, I really hoped I would have a kid and name it Kamui, and now I want to kill myself. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Like like from from X? Yes, like from X. I can't believe you knew that. <laughs> I can't believe I know that either. But fuck I, you. <laughs> yeah, it means it translates to child of God, I believe. Something. Uh. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm gonna name my son Naruto. <laughs> I just realized that that. How why, dare you? I was like, why are you all laughing so hard at that? Then I realized it makes it sound like I am God if I name my kid Kamui. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. not what I meant. Yeah. By that, though. <laughs> How could you name him after Kamui and not Kusanagi, the actual only good character in that show? In X? I Well, I never watched the show of X. I only saw the movie. You never actually watched the show? No, I watched just, the movie. I, saw the, I too, only saw X-1999. the movie. And I, thought, and I thought it was the coolest shit when I was like I 12 too, years old. Because it has it the coolest, coolest shit. Let's all go Vapor back and watch X. Yeah, yeah I, I'm dying here. Is this the one about the the brother and sister who are reincarnated angels? Is that the one? Not I don't quite. fucking know. I think you're it's about Angel Sanctuary. Guy and That's what I'm it's called about. Neon Genesis X, Evangelion. X is the one where there's the dragons dead. of heaven and the dragons of earth, and there are two different seven man teams who have to duke it out in in, in okay. like these like okay. this version of to- <laughs> like they're they're fighting in Tokyo, but they'll open up like these you know. Um, Mm-hmm. These things where it's like they, they don't affect the outside world. And they duke it out yeah, with superpowers okay. and psychic abilities and shit. But in the movie, it's all about the deaths. It's all about the crazy ass ways that people get killed. And then it ends that with the fucking fun. apocalypse and everything gets destroyed. And you just see people <laughs> fucking. There's this hilarious moment where all these people are running out of like a church or something. And you just see a pillar just fall on a guy and crush him completely and fall through the earth. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. And then <laughs> at the very end, <laughs> everyone's dead except for the main character. And he's just sitting. 
sitting there like crying and cradling his best friend's head because he had to fight his best friend. Oh, I remember side. that. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that that image. Yeah, okay. It's awesome. Well, uh, ten out of ten. <clears throat> um, Very nice. Anime sucks. What? Okay, there's another. I cannot one here. believe I remembered the main character of X's name. What the yeah. fuck? I saw I, that movie once. It's kind like, of a big like deal. Fifteen years ago. <laughs> I think it's like both the main characters are named Kamui, and like the the fact that they are named that is a big deal in the movie. So like that's why mm. it's such a memorable. I name. was going to say it, Ben, because I remembered it too. But I was like, no, I shouldn't say this. It'll be too gay. If I out myself, well, no ben, ben ben that's, was that's not no problem. You, back. you no took problem that bullet for me. for me, and you got us on a cool anime conversation. <laughs> yeah, you hero. Uh, here's you leftover Saint you. Mm. Okay, here's here's a, a simple question with far-reaching ramifications. So maybe this will be our last one. But it's uh, at Zylovich, our old friend uh, Zylovich the Minon, uh, asks pessimism versus optimism. I, I like to think he's asking what's better, what's more useful. Optimism. Optimi- optimism. Why would you optimism. Optimism. pessimism be helpful? Pessimism actually does have some advantages. It helps you plan for bad things that could happen. It helps actually, you. Could do it, helps helps you people. it helps you, it helps it, you it, be it, a coward and not do anything. Have you heard yeah, of okay, the phrase yeah, here's cautious the thing. Optimism. optimism? is nicer. I like nice things. Like, Say that again, Digi. Like, have you heard of the phrase cautious optimism? Like, just Sure. Like, to me, optimism, it's not about thinking that things will go well. It's about hoping that they will go well like 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 just well, not like if pessimism is to always assume the worst to think to think this is going to go badly and i think that's actually more limiting because people won't like do things that are helpful because they just assume they've think, already lost okay well, there think are degrees, will go right? if you think things will go bad for sure you'll never take any risks exactly well okay if you're if you get paralyzed by it then sure i'm with you but I mean, I don't know how scientific this was, but once I think I read somewhere that in general, people who are at least have some element of pessimism in their life are generally actually happier, and it's because they always expect things to happen for them uh, that will turn out bad. And so when they are surprised that they turn out good, that actually has a larger happiness boost to their psyche than people who are optimistic, who are continually disappointed by the world around them. What a stupid I, I, Have a question. think about who that. Cares? That, that, that a... really breaks that, like... Because, <sighs> like, when I think pessimism or optimism, I'm thinking, like, an extreme version. Like, my parents, my mom is a pessimist, and she just always thinks that things are going to go wrong. And my dad is an extreme optimist and just always, like, he's just always like, oh, it's going to work out. It will work out. No matter what, it's going to work out. And both of them are, like, wrong in the way that they think. Because my mom will just not do things because she thinks that it's not going to work out. And my dad will just, uh, you know, make like assume too much good is going to happen and then it's never as good as he thinks it will be you know like you need to be yeah. somewhere in the middle you can't just have one extreme or the right, other right but like i think overall if your mindset is things can go well then you will be you'll you'll be more ready to take risks and and do things as opposed to like always assuming that the worst is going to happen Okay, all right, we've got, here's our actual last question. This question is, is the best. I, I totally skipped over it before, but here we go. This is fantastic. At Slapdash Studios asks, dream company to shill for? I love this question. Patreon.com slash Ben Saint. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, dream Bell. company. From software. He's asking, yeah, like, what company do you want to be like, hey, guys, uh, I'm here today on my shitty YouTube channel to play uh, fucking gay, gay guys from gay. To cut yeah, me, it's a good game. from my mother's basement, here to show you another <laughs> great product. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Mine is Takati. I... The beer. Who is that again? I know you've the, described the beer. Oh, the, the beer. Right, yes. right. Okay. I want them to just, if they would give me free beer to shill their beer, I would shill their beer constantly. Right, right. Um, Taco Bell. I want. I want that free Mario Kart, bro. I want that free Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, are they the Mario Kart? You know, do they control the the Official means of production for Mario, of Mario Kart everywhere throughout yeah, the world? Dude, dude. And when, when Mario Kart sixty four came out, they were like, "If you fucking do that shit, then we'll fucking hook you up, bitch." And I was like, <laughs> "Here's Fuck here's yeah. a weird. Here's a thing. Here's a thing. I thought as a kid. It's not directly related, but I thought that if I bought stock in Nintendo, the corporation, mm -hmm. that would mean that like a certain percentage of all Nintendo consoles in the world belonged to me and I could ha <laughs> and, and, I, and I could ha and I could have them so I so I kind of wanted to like invest in Nintendo's like yeah Why I could have tons of Nintendo's one? I don't know it just sounded like a really good idea it sounded like a real good idea at the time 
No. Uh, but, does but, it, would, would that mean you could go to a friend's house and take their game because you own yeah, like 1% Yeah, this, this is one of the ones that I am in legal possession of, friend, here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you, should, you, should, you should have invested your money back. I own 1% of, of all these games, so therefore I get to have your games for 1% of all time. Mm-hmm. So you'll get right. this mm-hmm. back right. after that time is done. <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, actually, I'd like to change my answer to a whorehouse. I would like to shill for a whorehouse and get free yeah. whores. That also I agree. sounds great. <laughs> that would be ideal. I, you know, I appreciate the efficiency evolved in the whore setup. I really think it's not to be under... I, I, I wish we would invest in that kind of infrastructure, Trump. That's where our money should be going right now. I don't even disagree. Um, <sighs> so much. I, I literally don't oh, disagree. God, I legs. literally believe that. Uh, I, I, okay, I would so like to I have actual, for the... Okay, uh, go on, go on. For the uh, Calypso Foundation for the annual Twisted yes, Metal right. Tournament mm-hmm. because, you know, that's really what we should be investing and they building donors, towards as know. a country is, a, is an annual tournament where I can drive around in my car and shoot missiles and kill people and and destroy pretty much <laughs> the entire country and, and just leave smoldering fucking ashes and ruins of cities it's, in my wake and then get a wish at the end. It's, yeah, it's kind of like The Purge, only with sick, nasty tr- monster trucks and shit, so, you know, just better in Dude, every way. Dude, a, a fucking guy in traffic flipped me off the other day, and I'm just like, Twisted Metal, man. We, <laughs> n- how much longer till we have fucking coming, Twisted dude. Metal? There's legislation in Congress right now to legalize Twisted Metal. It's coming. I'm coming for you, man, who flipped me off. You, you thought you got away from me, but the, but the, but the Twisted Metal tournament's coming. It's, it's just the way the wind's blown, dude. Enough. It will be legalized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, the state legislation is already passing yeah. it across the United States. Eventually, it's going to be adopted federally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, here's mine. So, when I, when I made my, uh, or I just, I get a lot of shitty comments on my, um, on my like, Final Fantasy VII remake is going to be a piece of shit video. And this one guy, this one dude, my hero, was like, dude, you fucking fag. You fucking know that if Square Enix was paying you to fucking make videos, you'd be on their fucking nuts saying how great this remake is. And I just wow. want to let that guy know he's great 100% point. right. He's 100% yeah. right. I would definitely sell out in a second. I would tell everyone how good video games are. If I could work for Square Enix, I would suck Tetsuya Nomura's dick. I would, uh, I, I, I do it all. It's, I'm just looking for a chance. Just give me a chance, guys. I, I want to shill. I want to be a Square I, Enix shill. I want to, I want to shill for for Mickey Mouse, not Disney. Just, just the mouse, <laughs> just him, just whatever he's doing. I just want to tell people a, about his his his, his sneaky dealings. I would, I would shill, I would shill for the Crown City Melee. Come and see your favorite fucking friends uh, and allies yeah. and heroes. I'll fucking murder each other and gut each other for fun for your entertainment where can you where can you find the broadcast <laughs> of, of this yes. saintcomics.com baby hand handcrafted in notepad with in love an, in another four months you might get two more pages folks I fuck yeah will kill you but not before <laughs> myself <laughs> Oh, I'll wait, take wait, you I all out with one. me when I go. Okay, sounds. I, good. I got a better. I got a better sponsor. Mm-hmm. Matt, uh, uh, game theory, game pe- uh, Matt Pat, game theory. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell everybody to go, to go over there and ju- it's just a YouTube channel, <laughs> a game theory YouTube channel. <laughs> and thanks for giving me money. That's <laughs> fucking Matt Pat. <laughs> uh, okay, that's enough. We're um, done. Actually, I, w- I want to change mine to Arizona iced tea, so my okay. entire pitch mm-hmm. could just be Trayvon, 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 <laughs> I, I Trayvon. Don't understand. I don't understand what that means. Um, Arizona it's because you put tea, tea on a tray. Shot Trayvon Martin. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> What's <it now? laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You fucking set that up and it shouldn't have worked. And we all fucking, we all fell for it. We fell for it. We fell for it. Thank God. That was I, masterful. Okay. <laughs> I played us like Patreon. a fucking Patreon.com okay. slash munchy slash calypso slash twisted metal. <laughs> all right, everyone. Uh, make sure you send us more questions. Ha- any time of the week now. Hashtag ask PCP. Just send us that shit on Twitter. We'll, we'll see it when I fucking log in. thinking like, ooh, I, 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 wonder, I wonder what Nate thinks my feet smell like. Ha ha. Yeah, yeah, and then good you one. should ask that. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. Or, uh, or uh, what's the gayest thing uh, Munchie is doing uh, on today? Uh, and he'll tell you. He'll, he'll tell you what it is. So there you go, people. <laughs> I think I think that's his commenting on a YouTube video voice. I think that's what he's doing there. Uh, all right, thanks for listening, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.
Okay. Okay. Done. Yeah. Sick. Um. X D. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to. Be 